change your life. So he's a BC1 veteran right here. for the battle to begin. Welcome everyone to the 20th edition of the Red Bull BC1 World Final here in Paris, France. I'm B-Boy Ronnie and joining me is the one and only Kid David. Yes, Ronnie, it is a pleasure to be here with a century of historic tennis matches, starting with the red clay courts, and now the biggest stage in breaking. Tonight, we will add another chapter to the rich history of this iconic venue, the Roland Garris. Athleticism and artistry will remain a through line as we watch 16 of the best B-boys and B-girls battle it out for the most coveted title in breaking. This is crazy, David. Yes, this is the most legendary event in the world. It's been around for two decades, 20 years long, 20 years strong, and by far, this is the biggest year yet with 8,000 audience. 8,000 people in the audience going crazy. This is gonna be a night to remember, but let's remember why the BC1 is so historic and how we got to now. It doesn't get any bigger. This is history in the making. Battle lines have been drawn. It's a competition that has forged breakers worldwide. From humble beginnings, it's gone global, with Cypher battering every corner of the globe with precision, skill, and technique. One thing is for sure, when you get the best of the best together in this arena, sparks are gonna fly. Then, when you make the cuts and you tower about the opposition, your name is etched into history. Now, it's all eyes on Paris, the city of life. This is history in the making. This is the Red Bull BC1 World Final. You ready? You have seen what's on the line. Now, let's see how it's gonna play out and head backstage with our man in the middle, B-Boy Wicked. Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? B-Boy Wicked at the world famous Roland Garros Tennis Stadiums, host of Red Bull BC1 World Finals 2023. Everybody at home, I got the backstage access pass for y'all. We're in the warm-up room. This is where all the competitors are making sure they stay warm. They, they got the game faces on, mentality on lock. Uh, if you could see this pillar right here, 20 years of Red Bull BC1 from 2004 to 2022. And, uh, oh, look who we got here. We got my man, Phil Wizard, representing Canada. How you feeling today, man? Big day today. How you feeling? Yes, sir. I'm feeling nervous now because the camera's in front of me, but we're feeling good. We're feeling good. Good luck out there, Phil Wizard, one of the competitors. Now check this out, this area right here, really cool. We got the arcade games going on. We got the F1 arcade game, we got the screen. Everybody's watching. Oh look, that's us on the screen right there. But what's really exciting is this wall right here, the wall of champions from 2004, Omar, Lilu, Hong Ten, Ronnie, Wing. We're gonna find out tonight who the next two breakers are that's gonna be on the wall of champions right here at Red Bull BC1 World Finals, live and direct from Paris. All right, David, we're getting set up. We it's got go the MCs. time. It's go time. I'm Jad, and my verse. About to set that stage on okay. fire. That's set the right. tone. And because it's a competition. You know we need some judges, right? We need some judges. You wanna know what the judges are? Yeah. Okay. They have been selected because they are well respected in the game. Ils sont tellement respectés dans leur crew, ils ont fait tellement l'histoire qu'ils seront là ce soir pour juger, pour donner la ceinture au meilleur et à la meilleure. 
Le premier juge nous vient de Corée du Sud. Il représente Gamblers Make Some Noise for B-Boy Kill. And here he is, B-Boy Kill competed in 2018 and 2012 in the World Finals. And now tonight, he's here to judge. B-Boy Kill, very well known for his dynamic power. A Korean legend. Oh yeah, on fait du bruit pour lui. B-Boy Kill. All right, I need France. I need France to make so much noise because this is a hometown hero. And she's a B-girl. Y'all give it up for B-girl, baby son. Hey, Next up, yeah, here's baby son, wanted on. crew, one of the most historic we'll crews from France. Ronnie, for the people at home, what are some of the things that they're judging on this evening? The judges will be mainly focusing on musicality, originality, execution. Yes. Looking for the main categories of breaking, which is top rock, footwork, power moves, and freezes. And you gotta remember, these judges have a hard job. A lot of this stuff in the dance is subjective based on I style you, preference, but the also there are sense. objective components to this dance, mistakes, difficulty ah, of yeah. movement, nice, nice, execution. Nice. It's all things these judges are looking for tonight. Le prochain juge, vous le connaissez tous. Il a marqué l'histoire avec son style. Fait du bruit, nous vient de Floride. Represents Kilometer Crew, La Pulga, aka the Flea Rock. The man himself, B-Boy Flea Rock. This man is a legend. He's responsible for influence across for generations. Yes. They call him the Style King for a reason. Yes, B-Boy Flea Rock. You might have seen some memorable mo moments from this man on the stage before. Yes, two years ago in Poland, he had one of the most memorable moments against B-Boy Sugar Kicks. He is recovering from a knee injury, but that doesn't seem to stop him. Woo! Let's go, Flea. Showing his ground nice, power. Nice, nice. A very classic style, a traditionalist in breaking. Come on now. Woo! Baby boy will flee, rock! You can feel the crowd love it, love it, starting to warm up. Okay, next up, all the way from We're just Espana. getting started, y'all. Y'all give it up for Beat Girl Movie One! Barcelona in the house, Lunatics Crew. Here's movie one, a legendary B-girl. She's been breaking since 2003. She's been around for a while now. Strong foundation all around her. Ronnie, a lot of people talk about breaking. Is it an art? Is it a sport? In this landscape, it is a sport. Anything that involves competition is indeed a sport. The dance on its own is an art form in its own right. But as soon as you put it on a stage and you put it in the context of competition, it is a sport. So tonight we see the meeting of art and sport as we've seen in the history of this venue through tennis for almost a century, Ronnie. Wow. That is amazing to have a breaking event in this very prestigious venue. Le dernier juge nous vient de Mexique. Il représente Unique Breakers. We call him the doctor. Make some noise for Dr. Hill. We got Dr. Hill. Hill from Mexico, who has also represented on the world final stage, making it to the semis twice. That's right, in 2018 and 2012. That was the one I was at, Ronnie. Yeah. <laughs> also known for his dynamic power moves. Hill 
has been breaking since 1999. That's our generation, Ronnie. 90s breakers. Or it's my generation. You're a little bit older. A little bit older. Not by far. Oh, yeah, Mr. Dr. Hill! Yeah. Make some noise for these judges, y'all. These five judges will decide who is going to walk away with the belt today. But we got to do it by starting off with the B-Girls. Let's, let's see the top exactly. 16 B-Girls. Let's make our way over here to see the top 16 The B-Girls on the screen. Top 16 B girls. It's about to go down, Kid David. Yes. The best of the best. There is quite a mix of styles, of ages. The field is extremely young this year. Many of these dancers are only 16 years old. Also, some more veteran B girls. But tonight, the B girl list is looking promising. They're all hungry. We have returning champion, India. We've got some new faces as well, all looking for their shot to prove it on the world stage. Some of these dancers earned their spot just two days ago at the Last Chance Cypher. Yes, we qualified four, and we had 12 wild cards, direct invites. All right, let's check out this let's bracket. Go. Let's go. We got first up is going to be Sissy and Konya, Firebird and 671, Yasmin and, and Maya, now. Vanessa and so Nika. And on the right the side of this bracket, we have Easy. India versus Mono, Stephanie 20, 20, 20. versus Shun, Tokinia versus go. Ami, and Kimmy versus Rico. Ronnie, look at these first round wow. battles. B girls from across the world, let's get it on! Let's go! First up to bat, we got B girl, Sissy, and B girl, Kotia. We got France versus Belarus. This is a promising battle right here. Guaranteed to be exciting. B girl, Sissy, has been winning a ton this year. Extremely dynamic style, known for her flow and blow-ups. Representing Melting Crew, Melting Force Crew. Only 16 years old, Ronnie. Yes, as you were saying, a lot of them are young, in their teens. Sissy was a gymnast first. And we have her opponent, Bigro Kotya. Bigro Kotya representing Young Generation Crew. Also, extremely dynamic style. You'll see a lot of spin moves from Kotya. They're both similar in the sense that they blow it up. It's time to start the night, Ronnie. All right. This is it. First battle of the night is not easy, Ronnie. Not at all. They're going to have to set that stage on fire. They're setting the tone, being the very first battle of the night. And you'll see here, you'll see a standoff. You'll see this often tonight in the world final. No one wants to start. The but guess what? Down. Sissy off the bat. Said, Give me that. Looking relaxed, smiling. Yes. Taking her time. In the pocket of the music. Feeling the beat. Someone's listening. Ooh. High difficulty in that movement. Ooh. That's a strong first round for Sissy. And here's the answer. Round one for Kotya. Straight Wimmo Air Flare Munch Mill. Those level changes are not easy. Answering with her own dynamics. Strong freeze by Kodya. 
Great execution on Koji's side. Still going. This is a long round for Katya. Oh, yeah. Looking a little sluggish at the end, but that was a lot of information. Ability to respond and get the energy back will shift the momentum in your favor. Sissy with a more flexible style. Oh, and she's on beat. Sissy was actually a gymnast before she was breaking, and you can see it in the strength and flexibility of a lot of her movements. That is a strong second round, Ronnie. Round two for Kotya. It's important to notice the difference in their energy up top when they're dancing. Small little slip up there. This is having fun. Kotya slowing down a little bit, but she's showing her well-roundedness, hitting full work power. Trying to stick to freezes. Oh. Yeah, Ronnie, it's important to maintain a certain level of energy throughout your rounds, a certain, a certain level of attack. For me, Sissy, a bit more energy, cleaner, and actually looking more relaxed up there, Ronnie. Yeah, she was definitely showing more character and comfortability okay. on that stage. We got on one side. We got Kotya on the other side. And that was just our first Battle of the night, David. What a way to start. Okay. You can see on Katya's face even, looking a little nervous. Who do you got, David? I got Sissy. Sissy going through to the next round. But Katya has something to be proud of there. David, you already know. There's something about this stage, the pressure, the media, everything leading up to it. It's hard to be relaxed up there, and it comes from experience. I wish I could do the same. Also, in your first battle of the night, you got nerves, you're, you're nervous, you're, you gotta break that ice. So next up, we got B-Girl Firebird from Bulgaria. Also, only 16 years old. Right now. Versus B Girl 671, representing China. She's part of the Chinese La national prochaine. team, Team China. And she's only 18 years old. Six, seven, this is 671's second appearance at the World Finals. She competed last year in New York. That's right, and that experience counts on this stage. It's Firebird's okay, first girls. appearance, but we both of them the known for their power moves. The power moves are the spin moves, Six the dynamics, one. the flying. They're are both very explosive, history? very strong. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? This oh, is going to yeah. be good, Ronnie. Let's go. You, you definitely have ready. an advantage if you've represented at the world final stage. A hundred percent. You've been here before. You, you know what to expect. You know what it feels like up there with the lights and the crowd. The question is, who's going to start? You got Firebird. <laughs> Smiles Just from Firebird. Smiling, looking confident out there. She is looking relaxed, isn't she? 671, looking more serious. I, lo right. I love the standoff, Ronnie. The infamous standoff. Who do you think is going to go first, Ronnie? All right. Six, seven, one. Okay. Six, seven, one. Which I think Firebird fire might go. Oh, fire she looks fire. antsy. One, two, three. Oh, I won. So right. six, seven, one, you start. You definitely have the disadvantage going first because your opponent gets. Oh, extremely by six, seven, six, one. Six, seven, one. That's right, Ronnie, when you go first. It lets the opponent to answer. They can see what happened in that first round. They can respond to what they're seeing. But at this point, 671 is very confident knowing that whatever she does. Oh. Oh. 
will be hard for Firebird to answer. That was an extremely difficult set of movement right there. One and a half to a double missile. Very sharp, very nice, clean. Nice. Oh, and you can see she faces her opponent. And the answer, oh. she said, I can do a backflip too. Exactly, so she responded there with a backflip. You always want to acknowledge the opponent's movement. If you can do it or do it better, you show them. Let's see if Fiber's going to hit her signature. Wow. A bit of a crash there, but extremely difficult. High level of difficulty. Oh. Fiber taking the risk right now. Oh. Wow. This is a great conversation. The power moves. But Ronnie, the judges are going to take note of that little mistake of Firebird coming out of those elbow air flares. Definitely. Execution is key. Woo. Strong. And it's strong. Round two. We also got to remember this is a battle, and 671 is showing burns. Give it up for DJ One Up. 671's having a good time now. I think she's feeling confident yes. about that first round. She got jitters out that first round. Now she's about to go in. Somebody else has been no hand. Back this up. is incredible. See her doing more footwork in this round. Strong freezes as well. Oh, oh. Yeah. The amount of power moves and strength that these v have. Very strong second round for a 6-7-1 Firebird. She's listening to the music. She's going to need to step it up here. Firebird, second round. Oh, another small mistake there. This is where the experience counts, Ronnie. There's yes. a certain pressure on this stage when you're doing all these difficult movements. And keeping that same level of energy, you could already uh -huh. start to see her little, slowing down. A bit of a slowdown, huh? Definitely think 671 with the edge on that yeah, one. Some, some mistakes from Firebird, Oil. but still represented. Did you like it as much as I do? Yeah. Big ups to both B girls, China. Judges, are you ready? In Bulgaria. On a count of three, in English, one, three, six, seven. Unanimous for 671. For the viewers at home, it's important to acknowledge the mistakes from Firebird, but also the consistency from 671 in the execution that led her to the next round. Ronnie, I'm excited for this next one. Okay. This next battle we're going to go to the next battle. We're will definitely be a different one. vibe. Exactly. All right, here we go. Coming to the stage. Y'all give it up. B-Girl Yasmin! Here she is, B-Girl Yasmin. To be honest, one of my favorite dancers here, out of the boys or girls. Super funky, super fresh, representing the dance that it's all about. And she came from the Last Chance Cypher just two days ago, making it to the semifinal. Yes, so she earned her spot on this world final stage. Just two days ago. We got B girl Maya representing Brazil. Brazil. Maya. Both B girls have a similar vibe. Yes, they love, they Maya love is also dance. funky. Maya comes from a family of clowns, believe it or not. Her father's a clown. She also works as a clown on the side. So you're going to see some characters, some performance. 
This is gonna be a good one, Ronnie. Let's go. Waiting for that beat to drop. Again, we'll see a lot of these standoffs throughout the night. Both of them looking pretty composed, pretty relaxed. It. Maya pointing to the ear. She might not be happy with the song. I think she wants something a little, with a little more energy, but guess what? You got to dance to what's being played. These dancers have no choice. You got to move. Yasmin starting it off. Watch the form. Funky. Just natural with it. Yes, Ronnie. Damn, okay. The thing is, there's something about being on that stage where I'm so certain dancers just kind of steal yeah. a moment yeah. for whatever what reason. The judges gravitated towards One, more. Two, two, three. Yasmin. And it's Yasmin who's going through to the next round. I think Yasmin's presentation was a bit stronger. The presentation of her movements. Maya representing 
go and having fun up there, and that's all that matters. Shout out to Bigo Maya. She's blowing kisses to the crowd. Held it down for Brazil. That's how it is. Especially ladies in hip hop. Come on. Yeah, Maya, smile okay. your way off. We're gonna move right along, all right, y'all? And Yasmin's business, look at her. Next up, for our fourth battle to begin, we gonna give it up for Beat Girl Vanessa! And here she Yay. is, Beat Girl Vanessa from Portugal. She's cute, but she's dangerous, huh? Returning to the world stage. For the second year in a row, she also represented last year in New York. So she has that vantage. Another hey. fun dancer to watch. Lots of personality and character. Spends a lot of time dancing. She's dangerous Often too. Often with a smile on her face. She's super young. Make nice some details. Noise for Has a very unique personality. And the opponent, Bigo Nika. A young up-and-comer who's been winning everything. Bigel's she can do it all, down. Ronnie. Incredible form, and for me, I think one of the favorites for tonight. Right. Yes, I she's had a good year. As you said, she's been winning a lot of one-on-one bigger competitions. Be Only 16 years old, representing Lithuania right? and also the Red Bull BC1 All-Stars. And this will be her first appearance at the Red Bull BC1 World Final. And Vanessa at 31, almost twice her age. But she's starting it off. That's what we like to see, showing confidence. Yes! Let's go, Vanessa. Not getting phased at all. Let's go, Vanessa. Vanessa's got a really nice bounce to her style. Yes. with the music. Some really, really nice forward details there. Woo. She looks on point tonight. Okay, okay. And here comes Nika with the response. Nika is on the floor. It's Nika's first time on this stage, so Vanessa's experience definitely counts. Showing a lot of her vocabulary. All right, Vanessa. Full work power. Quick. Tops. Are you ready for round two? Vanessa with the response. Here she goes. She's so animated when she gets down. Yes, it's such good presentation. The ability to show your movements is huge in this dance. What's great about her style is she really utilizes that stage. That's right, using the stage, moving around. Exaggerating her movement really amplifies her moves. Outfit as well, the fact that she has a already right. jumpsuit that's right, makes Ronnie. her moves. What, what you wear matters. You gotta look that's fresh. That red color does pop on the stage. It does pop. Okay. All right, Dika. Looking very comfortable. She said, I could do tops too. Woo! Nice go down. Showing some power. Vanessa throwing her fingers in the air, saying, You're repeating. Is she though? Close one. You got Vanessa with such strong presentation, creativity, details, and an overall nice dance style. And Nico, I love both of their energies coming in. That's 
see. Three! Unanimous for Nika. She goes through. Nika advancing to the top eight. She's one step closer. give it up for B Girl India! Yay! Nika's movements a little more difficult. Yo, crowd! Last champion for last year, Execution. Wait, and look who's on the stage already. India did not waste any time. She's gonna face. She's on stage already. We got the defending champion, India, from the Netherlands. And she's battling V Girl Mono. Girls, I know you're ready. It's her first time at the BC1 representing South Korea. Also, super fresh foundational style. India starting right away, showing the confidence. She's been here before. She probably wants to do it again. Can she defend her title, Ronnie? She has a very good chance. She can do it all. Showing solid. Wow. Her execution. Sticking her freezes. Nice. Woo. Woo. Strong transitions. The ability to go in and out of your freezes, in and out of your movements with flow. You want to keep the flow. And here's Mono with the answer. Gonna have to come correct here. Mono taking their time up top. But looking fresh, huh? Woo! Really nice footwork form. time in footwork. Oh, yeah. As you, have, you, as you can see, not as many freezes. Okay, here's India with her second round. I think that first round probably going to India. India just looking like she's enjoying herself out there. Yeah, looking so wow. strong. Swipes. Showing footwork, showing freezes, showing power. And still maintaining that speed in the second round. That's very crucial, too, as we were talking about maintaining that energy. Woo. Yeah, she looks like she's been training. Woo. Oh, oh Mono is back, straight up. Here goes Mono with the answer. That was two very strong rounds from India. Coming out with a more traditional breaking style. Yeah, she's Pop got rock. a really nice form. More footwork based, but is it enough? And there you have it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a little short round from V Girl Mono. Great job, great job. You gotta show Great variety, job, you gotta show Honestly, difficulty, buddy. as well as being so, fresh no, no, on no, this no, stage, no, the no, world no, stage. Let's see what the judges got to say. I think India is gonna be going through on this one, Ronnie. India. Unanimous decision, B Girl India. She is looking confident. Amono definitely representing up there. It's a lot to be on this stage, y'all. We got the defending champion advancing. Okay, we're gonna go to the next battle straight up. So they're moving Make through this fast, boys, aren't they, Ronnie? Stage four, and we're just Stephanie. in the top 16. Big old Stephanie winning the last yes. chance side for a couple yeah, days ago. Yeah. This is also her second time representing yeah. on the world final yeah. stage. Another all-rounder. All right. She can do a bit of everything. 
and proved two days ago she has what it takes to get through. And her opponent, Vigo Shun. This is her first appearance in the Red Bull BC1, but also fresh, super funky. What you bring for much? I'm excited to see this one. It'll be a nice contrast of styles. Shun making history, the first Beagle from Vietnam to be representing on the world's final stage. And you gotta remember the challenges these dancers face. Shun openly talks about her family not supporting her through her dance, but it shows the passion of her getting to this point, the world stage, and she's starting it off. Look at the shoulders already moving. Notice the bounce and the musicality, keeping the bounce throughout the round. Ooh. Really take their time being in the positive music. Oh, okay, and some strong freezes yes. as well. It's important to stick those freezes. Great little Three, intro four. there. Details there, Ronnie. It's important not to look lost. You have an objective with your dance, you have attack with your dance. And here's the answer for Stephanie. Stephanie also showing her musicality. Woo! Woo! Nice. Really nice attack, really nice energy, really nice form behind her movement. Yes, great speed in her footwork. Woo! Those are not easy, Tombstones. That's strong round for seven eight. That first round. <laughs> okay, looking right at her. Shun's gonna have to pick it up here. her head off. Still got her head, smashes Ooh. it into the ground. <laughs> In this dance, we call those birds attacking your opponent. It is a battle. She's got to get busy here, though. as she gets up. You have to maintain that same energy. And here's Stephanie. About to close this one out. She looks relaxed, having fun, keeping the energy. Interesting Sorry. exchange, Ronnie. Yeah, so good. Good. <laughs> good. For me, Stephanie, just looking okay. a more confident, better yeah. presentation. Judges, are you ready? Shun Funky. Sure. But you okay. gotta That's show the result. content. Yes. You gotta show the information. You gotta keep the flow. And tres, dos, uno. Quite the performance for Stephanie. Shun definitely representing, but you could tell that second round ending a little bit lazy. Hey. Big ups to B-Girl Shun. Big ups. For the next battle, She'll definitely come back stronger. It always ends up that way. 
But yes, it is very important to start the battle strong and end strong. That's right. Maintain that level of energy. Here is Nigo Tokinia. Also earning her spot here, making it to the top four in the last chance cipher. Tokinia's <laughs> ready. And her opponent. Yeah, Tokinia comes from a favela in Sao Paulo. All the way to the world stage. And her opponent, B Girl Ami, the 2018 Red Bull champion, also making appearances in 2019 and 2021. And also being the first B Girl to ever win the Red Bull BC1 World Championship back in 2018. You cannot deny that experience in this competition. She's got to be confident. She's been here before many times. And she wants to win. Let's go. She's got her game face on. Japan versus Brazil. <laughs> Ami looking pretty confident. Tokinia looking a little nervous. And the standoff ensues. Somebody wants to win or somebody wants to leave. Look at the difference in the body posture. Okay. It tells a whole story, doesn't it? Definitely a different vibe Definitely from the other night. Tokinia was really oh. having fun. She looks a lot more focused and... Okay, I don't know if it's the nerves, but she is battling Ami. But here she goes, Ami starting it off. Looking confident. <laughs> Ami really utilizing that stage. Okay. Straight to some handcuffs, those aren't easy. Oh, double change, double air flag. On Solid beats. freezes. Hitting that snare. Let's go. She's not playing. Ami looking really strong. Level changes, freezes, power. Top rock, full work, showing that she has it all. Very strong first round for Ami. It's Tokinia time now. Nice to see everyone spending time yes. up top dancing. <laughs> She's sick. Tokinia with that bounce, showing her character. Chair. Smiling, having fun, that's what it's about. Nice transition into power. Good response. Was also going throughout power to freeze. Short footwork, also showing a bit of everything. Woo! A strong ending. Smoked ya. Okay, here's Ami. Ami not showing that she's phased at all. Again, utilizing that stage. Getting right up in her face. The attack. Ami has that calmness, and you see that experience. Totally. Just composure. The ability to stay composed and relaxed. Not showing any signs of fatigue. Take there, Ronnie, it looked like. 
but let's see if she can get back on it. Whew. Showing some burns. Kenya looking a little messy towards the end of that round, but definitely representing Ami. Definitely not easy representing on that stage for the first time. No, I'll tell you that. Ami, you know she feels good about those two rounds. But let's see. Ami going through unanimous. You can just see a bit more refined. Bit more relaxed. Definitely a more developed style. Yes, you see the maturity yes, yes. Oh, and even yeah, how she approached final, those first two rounds. Round. Absolutely. Yeah. As if she was just getting started. Yeah. And that maturity yeah. comes with time, Ronnie. It's not and something that happens quickly in this dance. And look, here she is, the first hometown hero. B-Girl Kimmy, you can feel the crowd going crazy for B-Girl Kimmy from France, representing immigrants. She got to the finals in the Last Chance Cypher just two days ago, earning her spot on the world final stage. Yes, and this is also her second year competing in a row. She made it top eight last year in New York in the world final. Next up, we got B-Girl Rico from Japan. Also young, up and rising B-Girl in the scene, only 16 years old. That's right, breaking for eight years. This but is gonna be Rico's really good fresh. Battle. Both very strong, both very dynamic, and Rico is wasting no time. Let's go, our last battle of the top 16. Who's gonna make it through? Let's go. I was watching Rico at practice last night. Crazy style. She just looks conditioned Ooh. for this competition. Super swift. That's that oh. speed. Oh my God. How is that what direction did I just see change? There? How what is that just... direction change? Round. Listen to the crowd. Roland Garris going crazy. <laughs> She's got work to do here, Ronnie. That was an amazing round from Rico to start it off. But I think she got it in her. Looking really sharp. Woo. Clean transitions. Wow. Okay. We got a battle, Ronnie. We got a battle. Big Rico not looking phased at all. Round two. So sharp. Lover speed changes. Okay, we go. Some yes. beautiful head tracks. Oh, Damn. she's not playing. And the answer. You gotta dance, you gotta listen to the music. Woo. Woo. Swipes to air flare, showing her level changes in her power moves. Woo. Nice. There you go. High level B girls. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. That was a, it was a really close battle. 
great way to top off the top 16 B-girls. I don't know, Ronnie. I, Who's I, it going to be? I think Rico had the edge in that one. Both of them, so strong. This is a really good battle. I don't know. We might we might have an upset upset crowd after this one. Unanimous for Rico. Both of them, so good. Great performance on Rico's side. Big ups to Kimmy. Representing, she did great. It's also not easy just coming from a second battle. And who do we have left? Sissy, six, seven, one, Yasmin and Nika. And we got India versus Stephanie and Ami versus Rico in the quarterfinals. Oh my goodness, look at this quarterfinal. It's heating up, David. Oh no. Oh no. We have a night ahead of us, Ronnie. We're just getting started. You gotta remember in this dance, originality is the highest form of currency. We have a responsibility to bring those original movements to the stage. But right now we're looking at tonight's B-Boy lineup. Ronnie, what's going on? Man, we got the best of the best representing from across the globe. Returning champions. Hong Ten going for a potential third belt tonight. We've got some new faces, Phil Wizard returning. Some newcomers, Eason also returning to the stage after an incredible performance last year. Such an eclectic mix of dancers, different styles. And different generations. And different generations. Old than you. Oh my goodness. What a lineup. Don't forget I left. Oh my gosh. Vigor representing the second year in a row. Danny Dan. As I was hometown saying. Hometown hero. Mighty Jake who earned his spot from the last chance cypher. And it's important to remember for the people back home, these dancers have a responsibility to bring their original creations to this stage. There you have it, David, our top 16. Yes, let your eyes go to the left of the screen. Kid Columbia, Castrito, Phil Wizard, Amaro, Khalil Jeffro, Eason Tiro. Look at this lineup. This is gonna be a crazy first battle. Straight away, Kid Columbia taking the stage, advancing from the last chance cipher just two nights ago. An extremely explosive b-boy, a highlight reel on his own. Ronnie, this battle's about to be insane. Power versus power, Mexico representing Castrito. Yes, wild card. Castrito's also so strong, known for insane power moves, insane strength. Kid Colombia, known for insane power moves, insane strength. <laughs> this is gonna be wild. Oh my goodness. This is how you start the top 16. This is Kid Colombia's third appearance in the world final stage. Okay. And Castrito is going to set the tone. Okay. These two rangers are the epitome of power. <laughs> Their strength is on another level. Look at Kid Columbia. He's like, that's it? Easy there. Psh, insane level changes, insane strength. Also showing that he has full work and foundation. There's a lot of stereotypes of power heads not having full work. Great round. And here's the answer for Kid Columbia. Kid Columbia looking very relaxed. About to explode. Ooh. Let's go. The crowd is just waiting for something phenomenal. Woo. Woo. Oh, oh, 
Okay. Let's see. Pretty neck to neck there in the first round. Woo. Round two for Casito showing more full work. Yes, they gotta show everything. Slowing down a little bit, but let's see if he executes at the end, which he did. Okay. That's right, Ronnie. You don't want to look lost. And here's Kid Colombia with the answer. Castrito calling Kid Columbia out, saying he's done that move twice already. Calling a repeat. I don't know, Ronnie. That was a little short for short Kid Columbia. Three rounds. Three three rounds. rounds. You gotta remember, the B-Boys are going three rounds throughout the night. And Ronnie, this third round is when it starts to hurt. Yes. This is how, it's a chess game out there. This is how you strategize. It's maintaining that endurance and maintaining that energy throughout the three rounds. But it's also important to not save your moves. You gotta go all out. That's right, Ronnie. You gotta put it all on the line, especially. Oh! That's a Kid Columbia classic. You can tell he was saving a bit for this last round. A smart strategy. But also going short in that third yeah, round. going short. Yes, we forgot to mention. I don't know. Seems like he's confident in those burns. You want to do a little bit more to solidify a win in front of the eyes of the judges. Yes, yes. You got to show that you're doing enough because they are judging on several categories. Oh, I would hate to be the judge right now. It was a little too short on Kid Columbia's side. Yeah, you can tell the amount of information. Kid Columbia not doing enough. Castrito solidifying the win. Yes, we have to remember that the judges are looking at different categories. Musicality, foundation, the difficulty of movement, which they both had. Character, personality, style is crucial. Ronnie, look who's walking to the stage. We got B-Boy Phil Wizard. This is his fourth world final appearance. You okay. know he's confident, one of the favorites for tonight, in my opinion. He's ready, he trains hard, he's been here before, he's got the arsenal. Yeah, probably one of the most seasoned competitors in this lineup versus Amaro from Italy, who also earned his spot here for the last chance cipher. I tell you this, he impressed me a lot the other day. He, he came out of nowhere. And it's funny, I saw him in the elevator of the hotel today, and he told me, he was like, honestly, I didn't even, I didn't even expect this. He didn't even expect to be there. He's just here and happy to be here. That's always the best approach. I mean, man, if he's on this stage, though, it's for a reason. Look at Phil. You can see a bit of sweat on Phil's shirt already. You know they're staying warm in the backstage area. But Amaro's wasting no time. Not scared of Phil at all. Representing Italy. The first time an Italian B-Boy's been on this stage in 10 years. And starting strong. Looking very composed. Okay, okay. Amaro stuck that freeze. Let's go. A lot of times. Wow. Wow. The Very best, impressed by the that first round. dancer attacks and brings out the best in the opponent. Phil knowing he's got to come through here. Had a talk with Phil. He's saying he's going to try to spend more time up top and show more character in his top rock. I like to hear that, Ronnie. Oh, he said, I can do that for you too. 
always nice and original stuff from yes. Phil. Again, you've got to bring your own movement to this stage. Originality is part of this culture. Great exchange, both executing. I'm loving this. Which is the most important, especially at a level this high. That's right. And they're both wearing beanies. This is great. And it has yet to fall off. Okay. Yes. Wow. It's always nice to see the clothing staying on. <laughs> Amaro staying clean, very sharp with his movements, showing different variations, sticking nice all his freezes. Strong second front round from Amaro. And here's the answer for Phil. He's got such a trippy style up top, yeah, huh? Very unorthodox. Woo! He is himself, though, that's for sure. Woo! Nothing like a good knee spin. Okay. All right. And here we go, the third round. The this third is round. when it gets real. The make or break round. That's right. Most dancers dance for about 30 seconds, but you start to feel it after three rounds. Make sure you're breathing. Stay hydrated. It's all about pacing yourself in a three-round battle. Still looking strong, though. Oh! Phil calling the repeat. Super crispy, huh? Staying consistent all three rounds. Let's see if he ends strong. Nice. This is where you can capitalize. Phil's got to come through here. Showing some in intricate threads. All those little threads. Some signatures. Such big pictures. Yes. Woo! Woo! Okay. All right, a signature move that he flipped. Wow. That was a good exchange, Ronnie. Very good exchange. Damn, damn, damn. Who you got? Both were so fresh, man. Yo, two it was a close so battle, so but I'd give it to Phil. Amaro. Amaro, very clean, very sharp. Phil was a bit more explosive. Yes. Definitely showing a bit more variety and originality. But Amaro also original, crispy. A lot to be proud of. Phil Wizard. Phil Wizard. Going through. But Amaro representing Italy for the first time in a long time an Italian B-Boy has been on this world final yes. stage. Since B-Boy Frost represented Italy in 2013. Okay. Big ups to Italy. Yes, exactly. Making noise. Uh oh. I can see down the tunnel. I know you're gonna like it. Just say who's that man. He nous vient de par chez nous. Il fait des études de médecine. On applaudit. And we got a full house here tonight, Ronnie. Look at the wall in Garris. But right now, another hometown hero is walking to the stage. B-boy Khalil from France, representing Legend Team Obstruction. The winner of the last chance life for two nights ago. Yes, and we got B-Boy Jeffro representing USA. Rock all day. Red crew. This will be his first appearance at the Red Bull BC One World Final. Let's go. Another interesting contrast in style. Jeffro moves in a dynamic way, but very forward based. He listens to the music, he stays in the pocket, and Khalil, very much a technician, blows it up. This is, yeah, this is gonna be a really good contrast of style. It's I was talking to Jeffro backstage. He, he looked very confident. He wasn't phased by the fact that he's battling someone with a hometown advantage. Sure. You kind of got to ignore the crowd sometimes, but the power of the crowd is undeniable. When you have the crowd on your side, it gives you energy that you cannot get another way. Wasting any time. He's out for blood. Crazy level 
change there. Powerful intro. Variations and transitions are so powerful. Wow. Super swift, super crispy, but Jeff attacking him. Oh, yes. no! Let's go, Jeff Rowe! I love seeing them in each other's faces. Yeah. This is going to be a good battle. OK. Look at the speed. Dancing. This is a good exchange here. Yep. Nice details, nice footwork. Showing some patterns and variations. Woo. Yes. Woo. Let's go, Jeff. Let's go, Jeff Bro. Khalil telling the crowd to calm down. Let's go. We got a battle, Ronnie. Let's see if the tables are going to turn. I tell you this, Jeff Rowe is conditioned for this. Three rounds. OK. Jeff Rowe calling Khalil out on the Slight second time. Slight there, maybe? Doing the move. Woo! Oh, I love that move. So swift. Oh. Oh. On beats, I tell you this, that was a good response to Jeff Rose freeze at the end. When we talk about musicality, it's the ability to hit the details that aren't the obvious ones. That was an example of it. Yes. Let's go, Jeff. Round two. Jeff Rose. He dancing. Uh, uh, uh. Yes. Short. More power in this round. Okay, Khalil saying that was short. They're both looking pretty fresh. He's getting the crowd hyped. They're going right, crazy. He's, he's energizing. That's that's strategic right there. Saving some energy. Absolutely. Third round. Still looking strong in this third round. Oh. Maybe a little short there towards the end. Yes. Let's see if Jeff Rowe can capitalize on this third round. He's breathing a little hard. Yes. That's what it comes down to. Let's go, Last Jeff. Round. Jeff's looking fresh. Coming strong on this third round. Showing some original variations. What an exchange. You got to take battle. note. You got to see like the way Jeff Rowe stays in the pocket, listening to the music through the entire round. Not just hitting the obvious stuff, but continuing the bounce. And Khalil. What a legend, winning the last chance site for two nights ago, coming here, still delivering, and looking good. Great battle. Here it goes. But it comes down to the judges, let's David. See, let's the see, let's judges, see. The judges, the judges. Oh, split decision. Khalil takes it. Khalil moves on. That was very close. Close battle. Could have gone either way for me. Yes. Will definitely be a controversial battle. Let's see what people have to stay online. I'll tell you what, though. Jeff Rowe representing, showing what this dance is about. Shout out to Jeff Rowe. And here we go, all the way from Japan, B-Boy Eason coming back. He was in the world final last year. He wowed the world. Making it to top four, so he was so close. That's if he makes it further this year. And Ronnie, the speed of Eason is incredible. 
his speed, his power, his strength, his cleanliness, yeah. his cleanliness. And we have B-Boy Tiro. Tiro. Representing Belgium. That's right. Another sleeper in the competition. He, this is one of those guys that can kind of do it all. Sick flow, also original. A pleasure to watch him move. It's just graceful. This is going to be a good one, Ronnie. This will be a great contrast in style. Who's going to start it off? Who wants it? We got the standoff. The infamous standoff. Go. Look at this venue, Ronnie. It is a packed house. And Eason is going to start the story. The speed is unreal. are bigger. Tira has a very fluid style, very smooth. Strong answer. This is going to be a good one, Ronnie. Round two, Eason. Okay, nice to see him spending time up top. This is a dance, ladies and gentlemen. Tiro. Tiro with a response. Let's see what he got. He just looks fresh. Being the taller B-boy, too, you have an advantage because your moves look so much bigger. That's right, but it can also work against you, where if you're messy, it looks even more messy because you're so big. But he's looking sick right now. Some interesting pictures from Tiro. This one, Ronnie. All right, round three. The make or break round. Let's see what Easton got. Easton's going to have to turn it up a notch here. And I know he can. Oh, my God. To do what? this in the third round, Ronnie. That's insane. He's chilling. He was saving his best round for the last round. Must be nice to be 18. Oh, no! Oh, no! Coming up with a big old smile, knowing he killed it. Maybe some small mistakes there, maybe a little repeat. But he's still cruising. Hero slowing down a little bit, but still showing his forward vocabulary and variations. So that's a perfect example. You can see that third round for Tiro. 
the energy dip a little bit. But man, right. a lot to be proud of from Tiro. Eason. Like Come on, man, it's Eason. Good battle, but yes, Eason definitely judges. had the edge on that battle. A little edge from Eason in that battle. But let's see, we're not the judges, Ronnie. A unanimous to Eason. He's moving on, but Tiro representing, looking sick. Shout out to Tiro. I wonder what kind of shampoo he uses. <laughs> I tell you this, in a three round battle, you do not want to get exposed in that last round, you know, showing your stamina or endurance, slow down. And if you're battling someone like Eason. Uh oh. The man of the night, Hong Ten, returning to the world stage in his eight world final appearances, trying to be the second person to get three belts. Yes. Also, the oldest competitor here. A yes, true he veteran, a Hong true Ten, veteran, Hong Ten, has With been that. dancing since 1998. What an OG. And we have B-Boy, Lego Sam representing Malaysia. Red Bull BC1 is not new to this breaker. He's represented at the Red Bull BC1 Malaysia in 2015-16. His first world finals. And Lego Sam was self-taught. In this dance, you often have a teacher or a mentor, so to be self-taught is something to be proud of. And to battle Hong Ten in your first world final, first round, he's got to be nervous. There is not a person that is more of a veteran on this stage than Hong Ten. Yes, Hong Ten's first appearance was back in 2005. Hong Ten also recovering from a neck injury, but he's bounced back. And he is here. Look at Hong. He looks relaxed. He yes. looks happy to be back on this stage. We're happy to see him back on this stage. My man. Woo. So swift. Woo. That was off of a fingertip. <laughs> that was insane. Oh, he's looking good. Slowing it down. Classic Hong Ten. B-Boy Lego Sam, known for his strong freezes, dynamic power. Yeah, you don't underestimate anyone on this stage. No matter who you are. Malaysia in the house, let's go. Woo! Let's go! Uh-oh, uh -oh. somebody's listening. You can feel the momentum changing a bit here. Strong first round from Lego Sam. Hong Ten needs to pick it up here. You cannot hold back if you're against Hong Ten. He definitely delivered that first round. That's what's hard about being such a legend. And whoever you dance against is gonna go all out. Oh! He's looking on point though. Hong Ten executing all his signatures. I'm looking very sharp. Hong Ted, classic two finger freeze. <laughs> All right, let's see if Lego Sam can respond. A strong round second two. round from Hong. Really nice 
nice presentation of his movements from Lego Sam. Yes. Really showing you what he wants you to look at. Yeah, exaggerating all those movements, executing. Wow. Haha, <laughs> pointing right at him. This is a good battle, Ronnie. All right, the make or break round, round three, Hong Ten. Let's go, Hong. Look at Hong in the tops. Woo. Another signature. Third round from Hong. Yes, an advantage that Hong Ten has is everything he does is his own. That's right. And like we were saying, originality. All counts about for originality. Life. We have an obligation in this dance to create original movement from our minds and bring it into reality and onto this stage. That's what makes it amazing. A strong third round from Hong Ten. Maybe some little slips, but. Lego Sam is still going. Lego Sam not showing any signs of slowing down on that third round. You can tell he's conditioned for this battle. Maybe a little small mistake there, Ronnie, at the end for Lego Sam. That's what it is. Sometimes it comes down to that one last move, that last freeze. A little stutter. And whether or not you stick it, or when you fall off, that can jeopardize the and whole that battle. the last move you do is the last thing the judges see, so it's important to end strong. It could be the drag of a toe, the stutter of a foot. Unanimous Hong Ten going on to the next round. But Lego Sam definitely representing, yeah, looking sick up there. Big up to Lego Sam, holding it down. Ooh, I'm excited for the next one, Ronnie. Can't wait to go to the next round. So much don't be boys and don't be girls. Okay, le prochain, nous vient the UK. Make some noise for Kid Karam. Kid Karam, second year representing at the Red Bull BC Wonder World Final. He was there in the year 2020, so he will definitely have the advantage here. Okay. A super dynamic mover against the opponent, B-Boy Aleph from Brazil, the magic man himself, a true performer, and to me, a rare thing in this community of breaking are people like Aleph, who really bring the performance, the showmanship, and the musicality in an interesting way. The way this man Alex, listens to the music is something special. Okay. Okay. And we get to watch it tonight. Yes. Okay. DJ, they ready. This will be a good contrast in style. Super good contrast of style. Kid Karam, more technical, more explosive, more dynamic, I would almost say. But it's dynamic moves versus dynamic style. Yes, and I left a lot of character, a lot of personality, very unique style, something that is different on a Red Bull BC1 stage. And it's hard to battle guys like that that are so unique in their energy. And here comes Aleph. It's Aleph time. He's gonna bring you in right here. Character and the presence is undeniable. He lets the music dictate his movements, as you can see. Woo. Such cool pictures. And always in the pocket. Maintaining that speed, 
Ha <laughs> somebody's listening. It's those little details in the music you don't expect. All his moves, very unique shapes. Yes. More technical. Nice Kids to see him spending time up top. Looking very loose. Oh. That was nice. information in this round. A lot of content, a lot of different moves. Very well rounded, showing everything. Absolutely. Guess what, it's our left time. Gotta love the way he brings you in. I love how he takes his time. He's a storyteller. That's right, a true storyteller. Such a sick style. Yeah, left representing. All right, Kid Karam, round two. Let's see what you got. No matter what your style is, you gotta show burns. You gotta throw burns. And there goes Kid Karam. Sharp. And he's not finished. Such an interesting exchange. Yeah. Oh, on that, slide it in. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. This is what needs to happen on this stage. The performance. You gotta give these competitors that was a energy. Picture. The more you scream for them, the more they do. Some nice details. Fresh. Yeah, let's go, I left. Cannot deny the freshness over there. But Kid Karam. Not looking phased at all in this third round. Still maintaining that speed, still maintaining that energy. Woo! Super sick transition there. Interesting exchange, what a difference in styles. This is when it becomes hard for the judges. But in a competition like this, you gotta bring your best. So let's see. Who do you got? Unanimous Kid Karam. Again, a left, definitely representing himself. Maybe could have showed a bit more burns, a bit more movement with attack, but no doubt represented. What a night so far, Ronnie. Some incredible battles, and we have just begun. Here's my man, Vigor, from Poland. 
another one of my favorites. Only 20 years old, his, his second BC1 World Final appearance. Okay. He was there last year. And, his opponent and here he is again to show his Will speed. Danny also Danny. a man of surprise. And we got B-Boy Danny Dan, hometown hero, representing France, representing the infamous Vagabond crew. This will be his second appearance in the World Final. I was just talking to him backstage. He's ready. Look at him. You can see. He is frothing. <laughs> He's frothing. He's like a dog that just got let out of his cage from the backstage. He is not playing. And Vigor knows. This is going to be a really good battle. This is going to be good, I already Both know. Both very dynamic breakers. Look at Vigor. He knows he's going to have to kill it. Danny Dan is a performer as well. But Vigor, look at him wasting no time, wants to set the tone of this battle. Let's go. We got Poland versus France. Oh. Oh. The strength combined with speed. Solid oh. execution. Vigor has been killing it all year. That's how you started. Listen to the crowd loving the French B-Boy, Danny Dan. Danny Dan soaking it in, soaking in the crowd's energy, showing him love. Woo. Also has a little bit of everything. Great presentation. Use of the stage. <laughs> a very well-rounded b-boy showing everything okay. such a performer danny din doing a bit more in that first round that's always the risk of going first the answer can always be a bit longer a bit more content but it's not always about content it's not what you do it's how you do it Gotta be careful not to rush on this stage. Uh -huh. Watch the difference in the cadence of their performance. Yes, you can definitely tell Danny Dan is taking his time. So dynamic. Such clean shapes. You can see everything. Yeah. Okay. Telling Vigor to listen to the music. He said, listen, when you see a dancer point at his ears, they're saying, you are not listening. And listening is important in this dance. Round three, Danny Dan calling him out for the second time, telling him that he's not executing his moves. Ha <laughs> 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 Classic Vigor. To be honest, it looks like Danny Dan's getting his head a little bit. Such a performer, the crowd is loving him. That confidence in the pocket Let's of the go. music. He's having fun. Woo -hoo. Oh. That's how you do it, Ronnie. Having a good time, listening to the music, hitting difficult stuff while he's dancing. Uh -huh. Wow, what a performance for Danny Dan. Vigor also representing. But Danny Dan came to win, and I think Vigor knows it. Danny Dan definitely represented. Was consistent the whole way through. 
we've got old Danny Dan, judges. But it's all it's about the judges. Let's see what they got to say. It's up for it. Yeah. 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 Unanimous. Yeah. Unanimous. Danny Dan. Big ups to Vigor, representing Poland. He held it down. Vigor, always a pleasure to watch. Yes. There were just moments where he was rushing. Yeah, he looked a bit. So I don't know if Danny Dan got to his head. Yeah, he was rushing a bit. Okay. You gotta stay relaxed so final, on this stage. The final one. Final battle for this round. Oh, oh. Okay. Il a fait beaucoup de bruit. Pendant les qualifs, on applaudit. Mighty J. And here we go. We got Mighty Jake. From Venezuela, an incredible power mover. This man has so much control in his hands, upside down and in the air. It is unbelievable. And we got B-Boy X Rain, who was an invite last year but couldn't make it. And now he's here representing China. This is gonna be a good one too, Ronnie. This would be a really good one. X Rain's also a, a storyteller in ways and a freestyle dancer in ways, listens to the music, reacts on the spot. And Mighty Jake, straight up flyer. An amazing power head. Earned his spot here from the last chance cipher. Hurt himself a little bit, so. Yeah, I talked to him backstage. Yeah. He said his back was hurting. But you never know. That's why there's Icy Hot, Ronnie. That's why there's patches and all the weird tape and all the stuff that everyone's using these days. And man, I tell you this, as a b-boy, we are prone to injuries. And it's mind over matter. When the adrenaline hits, you don't feel it at all. That's right, b-boys are always slightly injured <laughs> somewhere. It's like, define an injury. We got DJ 1UP on the ones and twos. Bringing them fire beats. All right. We got that standoff again, David. I love this part. I love the awkwardness of it. I don't. I know, <laughs> like, but... Let's just get it going. But I get it. I've done it before. But this is where your leg starts going numb if you wait too long. <laughs> That's right. And your nerves just kind of build. But here we go, X-Range, starting it off. X-Rain looking relaxed. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Nice and swift. China has been on the come up. Woo! Looking very sharp. Oh! Pretty much calling him out, saying that he's about to do air flares. And he has more. So Style. clean. See how you can see everything. Presentation is so key. The ability to show your movements and the judges see it, the crowd sees it, your opponent sees it. There's the answer. Mighty Jake, representing Venezuela. Take that jacket off. He's about to fly. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What is going on? He's still going. Ronnie, Ronnie, incredible. The level Great of difficulty response. of that power combo. Great response. Great power, but X Rain's calling him out saying, You only did power. That's right, you gotta show everything. Although, at that level, he's got to be yeah. one of the best power movers in the world at the moment. But you have to show everything. And X-Rain's going to say, this is how you dance. Woo! Woo. The element of surprise is huge in this dance. Surprise the audience. Surprise the judges in your movement. Not do things that are expected. x ray has a very clean, fluid style. Super Articulating clean. each little detail, as we were talking about earlier. 
That's very important. Let's see if Mighty J can show us some variety here. He has so much control and strength. Yeah, his strength is unreal. And there he is on his hands again. Look at the control. Wow! Up to the wrist, off the back of the wrist. Insane. Back up and down to the freeze, Ronnie. You cannot deny the difficulty. You can't deny the explosive. The crowd's going crazy. Look at the front row. That's also what it's about at Red BC1, creating these memorable moments. That's right, the special moments. And that was one, Ronnie. He's definitely making a highlight. Shoot. X-Ray, round three. Showing more versatility. Still looking so clean, huh, Ronnie? Yes. Very sharp. Woo! Has a lot of unique transitions. Okay, a strong third round from x ray all right, this third round, Mike J is showing that he does have footwork. And it looks good. Of course he can do it all. Maintaining that energy level, not getting phased by x rays round at all. Woo! That's it, he's like, you know what? He's like, that's all I gotta Jake do. Jake feels like he already won those first two rounds. A lot of judges judge round for round which means the they'll round. almost tally like points as the battle goes on right. per each exchange. One dancer goes, another dancer goes, who won that round and so on. In a three round battle, it makes it a bit easier. Let's see. Unanimous Mighty Jake. Wow. Mighty Jake. Ronnie, that's one of those battles. When you're in the room, it feels even crazier than on this screen. Another great way to end the top 16 b-boy battle. Wow. And who do we have left, Ronnie? Castrito, Phil Wizard, Khalil Eason, Hong Ten, Kid Karam, and Danny Dan versus Mighty Jake. That is a hell this of a quarterfinal. <laughs> quarterfinal is about to be crazy, David. Wow. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm backstage right now with with Mighty Jake. Unanimous, unanimous decision. How do you feel right now, man? How's the how's the how's the energy on the stage right now? Oh yeah, I feel it's so cold, but I feel very good. The energy, the people, the curl, crazy energy. So I feel it in this moment. So ah. Yeah, I, I, I saw you take your jacket off and you look like you were just about to fly. What's, what's your mentality like going into the next round? Wow. I think keep enjoy, bro. The, I, I, I just want to go with the style. <laughs> just my mind is enjoy, 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 and kill it. So, yeah, I'm happy. I would like to show more and more uh, good uh, stuff. <laughs> You heard it from Mighty Jake. Style, staying happy, staying in the moment. Stay tuned for more Red Bull BC1 World Finals. This is such a legendary event. 20 years long, 20 years strong, Kid David. And now we are down to our top eight B-girls and top eight B-boys. Yes, we, we are got making history Sissy, tonight. 671, Yasmin, Nika, India, Stephanie, Ami, and Rico all looking on point tonight. And for our B-Boys, we have Castrito, Phil Wizard, Khalil, Ethan Hong Ten, Kid Karam, Danny Den, and Mighty Jake. Ronnie, I am excited. Those are the B-Boys, but we have some legendary judges on the panel tonight, and let's get to know a little more about them. This is Dr. Hill from Mexico City. What's up? I like when the people is authentic. What I would love to see in the battles is the real conversation. It's not a performance, it's a battle. 
You know, they say real recognize real. Uh, movie one, Lunatics Crew from Spain. I would love to see honesty, knowing who you are. Just love what you do. Your boy Flea Rock, I'm from Miami, Florida. Let's get it. I've been breaking 30 years. Execution, energy, style. <laughs> A lot that goes into it. I'm Baby Sun, I represent Wanted Crew, and I'm from France. I think what makes the perfect breaker is the character, the flavor. I'm gonna see the details and their identity, you know? My name is Kyo, Gambler's Crew, South Korea. I think good skill and doing something on the beat, like the crowd are like, wow. Est-ce que vous savez où on est ici? And on here we look at the bracket for the B-Girl quarterfinals. The first battle we're going to see is Sissy and 671. Guaranteed to be a heater. Both of them looking so on point tonight. And also very similar in their styles as blow up artists. A lot of dynamic movement. 671, it's her first. Uh, it's her, she's returning on this stage, and it's Sissy's first time on this stage. And that's always a factor. But look at Sissy. But Sissy having that hometown advantage. You have a whole country on your side. She has the experience. She has the youth on her side. Only 16 years old. B-Girl Sissy, a crowd favorite, and a favorite for tonight. She's been doing so well all year representing. She was looking so relaxed in her first round. And now she's looking focused, but 671 is no joke. 671 from China. This Vigo right here is out for blood. She just has a different type of presence. Even last year when she represented New York, she wasn't phased by anyone. She's here to win. You can see it in her demeanor. Feeling confident, 671, only 18 years old. Sissy, 16 years old. They have no reason to get tired, do they, Ronnie? I don't think Stam is going to be a question here. This battle will be two rounds. Each dancer. And let's see who's going to start. As we talked about earlier, let's see if they have the arsenal. That's right, at this point in the competition, the judges are expecting new movements. They don't want to see repeats. And this is when you gotta start to show your vocabulary. And again, starting is always a slight disadvantage as the second dancer can kind of see what the first one did and respond accordingly. They can do a little more or come a little harder. But starting like 671 does now shows confidence coming in with some yes. extremely explosive movement. Here's 671. Oh, yeah. So dynamic, maintaining that speed and power. Quick, 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 quick. 671 coming with that strong presence. And it's nice to see her showing a bit of everything, a bit of footwork, the spin moves, the power, the freezes. Hey. Look at her so on point, facing her opponent the whole time. Solid round, still showing that burn at the end. <laughs> Sissy walking in a big circle, taking a lap, taking in the crowd. Whew. Six, seven, one, throwing up a two, saying, you're repeating. Oh! Straight to the back from standing. 
Also showing some footwork of her own. Oh, on beat. Gotta listen to the music. Very close round of both. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> Insane what they're capable of doing. That was crazy. Big old coin drop. You can see this the formula that 671 is using when she enters. She blows it up in the beginning and blows it up at the end. That's right. Show Making it. every Show moment memorable. Oh! <laughs> that little detail touching the toes in the head spin. The judges are watching all the small things, all the nuance. Still coming out with different moves, utilizing that stage. And looking strong, look, this extra little move she does at the end can often seal the deal. That extra little movement. Solid ground on 6 7 one side. Sissy. Sissy just really feeling the music right now. Just showing that she's in the pocket. Funky. Oh. Strong entrance. Oh, full elbow spin freezing it in her face. The level of execution in this battle is so high. Both are hitting all their moves, looking really she comfortable. Said, Hi, get out of here. That was a two-round battle for the top eight. I don't know, Ronnie. That was a close one. Battle. That was very close. Wow. Uh, are tiebreakers allowed here? I don't know. <laughs> uh, this is a tough one. I want to say C that's one of the hardest C ones to judge. CC over the last year, I feel like uh, she's been cleaner before. I want to see both of them advance. There was a couple little hiccups, I think, from Sissy as far as what I know she was trying to do. But let's see. They the both look good. Who are they going for? Ah! Six, seven, split one. Split decision. I had a feeling it was going to be split decision. Six, seven, oh, one takes it. You can hear the French crowd. You can feel the French Yo, crowd. Losing a favorite. Sissy, though, she really represented. She should feel proud. Absolutely. Young B girl on the rise. But guess this what? This is just the beginning for her. Six, today. seven, one. Has some experience, and that counts, you know? A little more comfortable up there, maybe. Uh, it takes hard time. Hard. Yeah, well, but we're getting well, right well, into well, the next well, battle, Ronnie. No. B-girl Yasmin and B-girl Nika. And Yasmin, guys, if you look up the word fresh in the dictionary, you might see this photo. <laughs> B-girl Yasmin. It doesn't get fresher than this. Such a natural. Just enjoy. I can see that in you, kid, David. That's your, that's your sneeze. I'm, that's your I'm style. I'm sorry. She's my favorite. I can't okay. help it. But she has a tough oh, challenger. B-girl Nika. 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 B-girl Nika, representing from Between Lithuania. Also part of the Red Bull BC1 All-Stars, one of the youngest members, one of the youngest B-girls in this lineup. That's right, and, and B-girl Yasmin took quite a long break from competition. Yes, Nika has not taken any breaks. Yeah. She's been destroying. Okay. Hey, so this will be an interesting contrast of style. Yasmin, a dancer, all about the funk, all about the music. Nika does it all. She does it all. Very well-rounded. Had a great year thus far. Has been winning all the competitions, the majority of the competitions he's entered. Yasmin. All right, B-girl Yasmin not taking any. But here she up, goes. Coming up first. Oh my goodness. Ronnie. Somebody got flavor. She's my fave. This is how you do it. Really in the pocket in the music. Gotta remember, this is a dance. And it's not just hitting obvious things, it's dancing throughout. Watch this. Oh. So good to watch. It's the little details, too, that you appreciate. Absolutely. And she definitely has a different approach. Nice round, Nika. What you got? The answer. But if I know something, Nika is here to win. Only 16 years old on the world stage. Also, you can't deny Nika's swag. She just got that raw form. To be this amazing, you really have to be obsessed with the dance. And this is what she does. She lives, 
Breeze breaking. Wow. Ooh. Such nice execution on that. High level of difficult moves. She's executing everything. You gotta remember, these competitions lend themselves a bit more to the athletic side of this dance, but it does not deny that it is a dance. And how she makes every move look so simple. When in fact, it's really hard. Let's go, Yasmin. Uh, looking fresh. The freshest. This dance really? is about fresh. And her outfit. Oh, Imagine the outfit? Her style. The outfit? Let's go. She can do whatever she wants. But you can see the difference in their styles as far as the dynamics of the actual movement. Still going. Round two. Here comes Nika. Nika's like, I could be funky too. Yeah. Nika, not looking phased at all. Nika's like, I could be funky. Check the feet. You can tell that this Vigo really studies the dance. Absolutely. And all the elements of Oh, this is classic Nika right here. Let's go. We talk about stamina and the ability to keep the energy throughout the rounds. And as you can see, Nika is not slowing down. Yes, looking very light, composed. Uh -huh. And there you have it. Okay, okay, okay. What an exchange. Okay. Straight Jasmine. breaking. Hello, public. So good to see Yasmin on that stage. B girl Nika, eye on the prize. I feel like I know which way this is going to go, Ronnie, but I don't even want to say it. Okay, you can say it. All right, I think Nika's going to go through based on the competition side. But let's see. Unanimous to Nika. Yes, showing more variety, more arsenal, more difficult movement, but I'm sorry, Yasmin, you're the best. Nika is cruising through but the competition so far. Absolutely. Nika, for me, also one of my favorites to win the entire thing tonight. Okay. Look at her, she don't care. And guess who's on, returning to the it. stage? We got B-Girl India, the returning Doctor, champ. Coming back. She was looking so Please fresh in the first the round. And I expect India. to see more of just that. She's ready, she's prepared, she's been training. She's won it before. She knows what to do. She knows what it takes. But we shall see because she's going against another lady who took a W this week. Yes, we girl Stephanie representing the oh, UK. Right. Coming oh, straight oh, from the last chance back. cypher. Showing yeah, why she deserves to be on the stage. Yeah, also yeah, second time representing at the world final. Not losing any steam, still performing at a high level even after battling two days ago. Ronnie, this is gonna be a good one. Okay, Beagle's in the middle. They both dropped two serious rounds in that top 16. And I would imagine they got more in the tank. Yes, let's see if they have the arsenal. Damn, I can feel the tension. Oh my gosh, look at India. No blinking. And we got Let's smiles and blinks on the other side. <laughs> I'm not a psychologist, but. <laughs> Both determined to win. Let's go. She's wearing green. She's feeling lucky. Here goes India at 17 years old, already a world champion. Let's see if she can defend her title. Straight to power. 
<laughs> Wasting no time. And just looking so on point. No stuttering in her movement. Complete commitment. That's when you see a different level of comfortability to be able to hit your moves in front of 8,000 people and not get phased at all. Absolutely, no hesitation. A big part of this dance is commitment, committing to your movement. Uh, Stephanie coming in with a different vibe, taking her time up top. I thought she was gonna do the cabbage patch for a second. <laughs> but it's so good to see everyone spending time up top. Dancing more. Woo! Oh! Clean 2000s, showing her power. Level changes. Clean transition, okay, maintaining that speed. Absolutely. Straight wow. to some, some classic head mills. Can't go wrong. Ground power. Very rare nowadays, but showing how clean her form is. Strong entrance on India's side. She said, I smoked you. All right. She wants the crowd. She wants the crowd. All right, she's building that momentum. And I think she got the crowd. Woo. She's going to be hard to beat tonight, Ronnie. Take advantage of that stage. She knows. She built the vibe. She said 2-0. I beat you both rounds. But we don't know yet. Because we got one more round for Stephanie. Stephanie definitely vibing more with the music. Taking her time. I love it. She's got such a... Oh! Just yes. what you thought. Really showing her speed change as well. Oh, and she's on beat. I don't oh. know. I don't know. The second oh, round for Stephanie. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yes, it, it is very dangerous. Oh, my goodness. When you, when you don't go all out on someone and you hold back. That's I'm right. I'm not saying that India was holding back. No, but oh, when she starts the battle, that's the risk, is you give Stephanie the window to, to do just that in that second round. And you cannot deny that second round from Stephanie. India looking so sharp. Oh. But it, sometimes it becomes a matter of... Another close battle. It's a, it's a lot closer, too, when it's two rounds. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, exactly. Two rounds is much harder to judge. There could be a tie. There could be a clear first round winner know, and a clear second round winner. I don't but know. Overall, they're giving it to India. Maybe we, maybe we got a little excited. <laughs> no, hey, so Stephanie good. Stephanie represented, though. I, mean, I was just shocked that second round felt like a comeback. But India, no doubt, looking like she wants to win tonight. So calm, so composed, so clean. Attacking. But next up, we got B-Girl, Rami, another returning champion. Another woman you are not trying to mess with on this stage and knows what it takes to win. Such good form, oh, man. foundation, does a little of everything. This second, or this battle right here, two Japanese B-Girls. Oh, Japan, Japan is Japan just on another sure. level, David. Japan's always been on another level. Oh. Truly, the next generation of Japan is looking insane. And Ami's the competitor. Gonna be going up against Bigo Rico. Also representing also Japan, Japan from One Piece Yamine crew. And Bigo Rico really surprising me in that top 16. Yes, Bigo Rico, another rising star. I believe she's from Okinawa, a different part of Japan. Okay, Beagles. This is going to be a great battle. I love the way the we bracks have been set up so far. Yeah, we're friends, getting great battles. Yeah. And this like I said, this B-girl bracket Ami is super ready. interesting. Rico. I'm not saying it's more okay. interesting than, than, than the B-boys, but... A lot of close Drop battles, it. a lot of close Absolutely, the, le the level is super high for the B-girls this year. That's how you do it. Like that one. All right. Here goes Rico. 
starting it off right away. 16 years old. Rico's left-handed, Ronnie. Did you just notice that right now? I just noticed she's left-handed. Great observation. <laughs> <laughs> Attention oh, to detail. Oh. Oh. Potentially a little repeat from the earlier round, but I'm no judge. Nice. Ooh. Her speed oh. and the execution is what really sticks out to me. Surprise, you saw the way she got into that head spin. You wouldn't see it coming from there, you yeah. Know? The unpredictability. But look at Ami up top, just so natural. It's such a good classic breaking Ami. form. And her composition as well. Absolutely. Just that like classic breaking picture, you know. She has she has the right formula. Which explains why she wins so many battles. But she can also do stuff like this. Reverse oh, both ways. Nice. And I love the use of footwork. It's important to show all the elements like we've mentioned. Ami just hits all the points. That's right. And, she and checks all the boxes. And she's like a boxer, you know, lots of little jabs. You're right, she wins with jabs. Not always a big knockout punch, but you don't need that. A lot of jabs add up. It's death by a thousand cuts. She, she plays the long game. Look at Rico, looking fresh. She, she's not even breathing hard. Oh, oh my oh. What is going on? Ronnie. How many rotations? That was two that was, at least. I think that was two. It looked two. like three. It looked like three, but I feel like it was two. Need a replay. Ami's gonna need to step up. Such a cool cadence. Using the floor, sliding around. And another strong freeze. Ami calling a repeat. She be sticking them freezes and holding it for a long time as well. Sometimes dancers call repeats and throw their fingers in the air so that the judges see it. Yes. Because sometimes the judges forget, you're right. That's right, you're like pointing it out to the you're judge. You're calling it out, be like, do the your job. The did that. Round two. Nice Obby. little power combo there. Reverse. Cool, cool transitions. Which is very difficult to be doing moves both ways. Absolutely. For the naked eye, it might look simple, but Ami's been showing her high level of difficulty with her full work transitions, her patterns, and her power. Again, Ronnie, you want to make sure you don't start to look lazy up there. Yeah. You can kind of see the energy towards the end of that round. You don't want to leave questions for the judges. You don't want to give them a reason, like, ah. Every battle has been so hard to judge. This is a close one so also, far. Ronnie. Super close. I, I think maybe Ami had the edge in the first round, Rico in the second. That's what she hard called about the repeat. Round so let's see if the judges, you know, are gonna call out. But honestly, I saw a repeat on both sides. To be completely transparent. Yes. Good thing we're not judges, Roddy. We're just commentators. Sometimes we judge. I'm trying not to be judgmental these days. The judges. Who's it gonna be? Ami. Ami takes it. Ami takes it. I could see it. I could see it. She was definitely more well-rounded. I think more of the full package. The full package, exactly. She's checking the boxes. You can tell that she's pasting herself, which is very smart. She knows what it takes to win. She's playing the long game. And that's right. So we're going to be going to the semifinals already for the B-Girls. Who do we got left? India 671, Ami, Nika, we have... Indian Ami on the other side of the bracket. This is crazy and pretty much what we kind of predicted. We, we predicted this. We predicted this. We have a, a, two previous champions in the top four. Woo! But guess what, Ronnie? It's time for the B-Boys. All right, who we got here for the B-Boy bracket? The top eight we got...
Let's see, we got Castrito, Phil Wizard, Khalil Eason. And on the other side of the bracket, we have Hong Ten, Kid Karam, Danny Dan, and Mighty Jake. Definitely some interesting matchups. Definitely some contrast of styles. First up to bat, we have Castrito versus Phil Wizard. This is gonna be interesting. Castrito from Mexico, so strong, so dynamic, so powerful, but his first time on this stage. Experience counts, and he's going against a very hard, experienced competitor. But guess what? You never know. Castrito was looking sharp in the first round. Yeah, he definitely delivered in that first round. Caught us off, off guard. And you get confidence winning that first battle going into this round. You, you get the confidence. You get that jitters out. Right. And look who it is, Ronnie. Phil Wizard, the wizard. Phil Wizard has been competing on this stage multiple years. Made it to the finals in Poland. That's right. And it's his fourth world final appearance. Extremely original b-boy, which is nice to see, remember. Originality is the highest form of currency. It's what this is about. All these dancers spend hours and hours and hours trying to create original movement that they can call theirs. They study the foundation, they put their twist on it. And that's how these dancers find themselves through this dance and give you guys a show to see. This is, this is gonna be the, the first battle in a top eight. A great contrast of style. Who's gonna start? Let the awkward standoff ensue. <laughs> I'm not mad at Phil Wizard's all white. All really, white uh, always out. looks good on a black stage. And Castrito. Come on, Castrito, I just started. I can see it, like you're thinking about it. You're thinking about it, but you're like, mm, it's Phil Wizard. Here's Phil. Canada's the house. Vancouver relaxed. represents. Very relaxed. The great thing about Phil Wizard. Oh. Very how was that level change? He has a lot of signatures, but yet you don't know how he's going to combine his moves. He has the element of surprise. Very unpredictable sometimes. You can see interesting shapes. I like that. Acknowledging the music. Round one, Castrito, known for his dynamics, extremely strong power mover. Look at how light his legs look. He's flying. Oh, on the fingertips. Transition up to that freeze. Maybe could have held it a bit longer. Great control. Solid round. Casito side. Solid round. A little edge toward Phil in that first round, I'd say. Just doing a little bit more and a little bit better presentation. Round two, Phil Wizard. them beats. It's so Sticking important to be able to stick those freezes out of the movement. Woo. And he's listening. He's yes. feeling good. When you, his character. when you become one with the music, it gives you gas. It gives you this energy that you can't get another way. Castrito still coming strong. Look strong, but you gotta commit to that movement. If you're gonna grab your foot, you really gotta grab it. Yeah, look, 
slightly hesitant in some of those movements. Slowing down a little at the end. And if, if, if Phil's the strategist, I know he is. He probably feels like he's already winning this battle. He could potentially be trying to save stuff. But saving movement is dangerous. Yeah. And he looks loose. He's really taking his time, too. Sticking his speed and holding it for a long time. And he's maintaining this speed and energy, which is hard to do in the third round. And this is it. Like we said, this is when it gets a bit harder, this third round. Especially as a power mover, because you are using a lot of energy and strength. Oh, wow. Nice direction changes, nice details. Staying clean, but slowing down a little bit at the end. A little short, and just overall, the presentation of the movement, you can really see the contrast between Phil and Castrito. Phil really showing you everything. Who is going to the top four or Kiva on demi-finale? Bro, I don't know. I think that one. Let's do it. Ronnie boy. Yeah, you, you could already see the confidence. Yeah, Phil's like, huh. Two, one. Unanimous, Phil Wizard goes on. Castrito should be proud of his performance tonight. He gained the experience. And guess what? If he comes back, it becomes that much easier. Yes, big up to Castrito, representing Mexico. Renegade Rockers, part of Kid David's crew, if y'all don't know. Let's go, and next up, we got B-Boy Khalil, another hometown hero representing France, Legend Team Obstruction. Looking super solid earlier. Winner of the last chance side for two days ago. He could be feeling that in his legs, Ronnie. He went, he did an entire tournament just two know, days just ago. Just two days ago. I hope he took a cold plunge. Or something, right? An infrared sauna. What, what do people do these days? Cold plunges are, are more in. And look who it is. He right. said, Eason. A young breaker representing from Japan. Body Carnival Crew. This is going to be a good one, Ronnie. Eason's only 18 years old. Khalil's 31. Also representing for the second year in a row. That's right. Eason competed at last year's World Final in New York, making it to top four. This should be good, Ronnie. Look, breaking since 2002. Eason started in 2013. Yeah, that's insane. You know that. Khalil's been around for a while. Okay, I think the crowd is ready. And that experience pays. It does. You know, especially in this dance, in this art form, the longer you do it, to a certain point, seems to just make you better. You have more of a developed style. You can find your movement, but you cannot deny the power of the youth. You said it best. Right now, it's experience versus the youth. <laughs> like, they you just don't get tired. He said, it's your home. You go first. You're the hometown. I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. I think the visitor is supposed to go, right, Ronnie? Is that how it goes? I'm not sure. Yeah, like if it's your hometown, it's like, yo, it's my hometown. I'm not going. I wouldn't go if it was my hometown. Actually, I don't know how it works. It's case by case. I think other countries or different <laughs> countries treat it differently, right? I don't know. It's like. He's got the crowd on his side. Maybe he should go first. As we talked about earlier, going out first, you almost have the disadvantage because your opponent has the opportunity to capitalize and to retaliate and answer, respond to your move. That's right. That's why they're reluctant. But look at Eason coming in like a fireball. Great entrance. He said, you talk too much, you shouldn't have let me go first. Watch this. B-Boy Eason. I love his pace. Incredible style, his speed, Woo. his strength. Oh, how was that detail? Oh! oh. That transition is insane, guys. I don't know, Khalil. I think that was a bad decision. The problem is, when you go second, it's easy to get distracted or shook from the person that goes first if they kill it. And now he knows he's got to pull it up. Straight 
into the air chair out of the sky. Yes. Maybe a little repeat there. Air chair specialist. That is what Khalil is known for. Nice. Nice. Looking clean so far. All those little freezes are like tallies on the chalkboard in the eyes of the judges. Nice. You can hear that Khalil has the crowd on his side. Totally. Not looking phased at all. Round two. He's not even shiny. There's not even like a drop of sweat on him. He was just waiting for that beat to change. Let's go. We got a full house here tonight. What's it like to dance in front of what? 8,000 people? 8,000 breaking fans. Oh. Look at the speed he generates. Yes. Not only the speed, but. The, the amount of space that he's using to execute all his moves. He's really exaggerating every movement, taking his time, speed changing. He looks so relaxed. And it looks easy for him, huh? Yes. He does so much in one round. Strong. Wow. And this is the third round. Round three, Eason. The make it or break it round. All right, he's pacing himself. He's setting up for something. Maintaining that speed and strength. Woo. Checking all the boxes. And just playing with it. Okay, Khalil. I love a good slide. Woo. None of these B-boys are losing any steam. Maintaining that momentum of the battle. Hitting all their moves. Nice. There you have it. Quite an exchange. Khalil standing up looking confident. Yes. This is one of those battles where they both thought they won. Yeah, yeah. This, this is a good battle. Or maybe some reluctance. But Khalil looks confident in himself. But that was indeed quite close. Who you got, David? Ah, who, ah. I think Eason has an edge. I think Eason okay. has an edge just because of slight repeats from Khalil's side. Let's see who the judges got. A bit more content. Eason. Eason. Unanimous. Unanimous decision. Unanimous. Yeah. Overall, you can't deny the speed, the presentation. And look at France. Look at France going crazy. Yes, shout out to Khalil. For the hometown hero. What a hard-working B-boy. Worked his way all the way up here to top eight, representing at the last chance cypher. And guess who's back? Mr. B-boy Hong Tan. Let's see if he runs on stage again. <laughs> the legend himself here to try and claim a third, third world title. He's been coming on, running onto the stage. Hey, that's not a bad idea. It's not a bad that's idea. That's his warm-up. Get warm running on the stage. He's having a good time. Oh, man. I he, love that dude. No one's more familiar on this stage than B-Boy Hong Ten with eight world final okay. appearances. And, all the way from the United and here's Kid Karam. Kid Karam Kid. representing the UK. Second time representing in this world final stage. And he's got to be nervous going against a guy like Hong Ten, but also confident with that first win under his belt. He should be happy with how he's doing. He was looking good. Yeah, he was very consistent. You can tell he's conditioned. 
You can tell when someone's been putting in work. Absolutely. And guess what? Like, Hong Tan has such an expectation under his belt, you know? Living up to that expectation is hard. It, it puts this pressure on you. And when you're the underdog, it, it kind of helps you sometimes. Yeah. But you have someone like Hong Tan that has been delivering all these years with all the pressure against him. Hong Tan at 38 years old. H doesn't matter, but it also does. Not when you're built like Hong Tan. But not when you're built like Hong Tan. He's kind of an alien. Let's go, Hong. He's starting off. All these dancers are trying to stay warm backstage. Yeah, and he, he looks warm. Real confident. An innovator oh, in the breaking world. Look at Hong dancing. <laughs> Signatures! Let's go! Hong Tan, look at it on point. Oh, it's so good to see him on point like this. Oh! He's he looking strong. What is going on right now? He's just putting tallies on the chalkboard. These are all little jabs. Let's go! The clarity he's giving the judges with all those moments. Okay. Okay. Wow. okay. Dancers often come in with explosive movement and try and steal the moment. <laughs> Super clean. Wow. The crab is very clean. Strong power transitions. Freezing in his face. Staying in the pocket of the music. Nice. And I don't see any slip-ups. None at all. He's, he's just so it. clean. Yeah. Really good round. Super nice exchange there. And here's Hong. Still got a pep in his step. It's amazing to see how better he's even getting at his age. Indeed. Still creating, still innovating. Still dancing on his neck. <laughs> Classic Hong Ten. Classic Hong Ten. How many times have we seen those movements on this stage? Signatures. Looking fresh. Wow. wow. Strong round. Here's Kid Karam looking to make a name for himself tonight. Yes. If you're battling Hong Ten, the battle will be remembered. Yes, let's see wow. if you can shift the momentum. Wow. Yes, Kid Karam delivering, not getting phased. Let's go. Lots of nice details, super clean. Round three, the make it or break it round. Oh, so good to see Hong smiling up there, having a good time. Hong has been maintaining this energy throughout the competition so far. Wow. Wow. Flipping his moves. Kid Karam Kong Mao saying that he's repeated that move. That was a halo off of two fingers, wow. actually four oh, fingers. <laughs> Hong Ten known to do moves on his fingertips. Oh, Hong Ten fingers. <laughs> <laughs> on beat. On beat, looking solid. One hey! more. One more for the road. Ronnie, that extra little move at the end does so much. Yes, yeah, it's an exclamation point. It's what's needed in the third round, which Hong Ten knows what he's doing. And it sticks in the judge's mind. Look at Kicker Ram, not even slowing down. Woo. Okay. 
Okay, there you have it. That was that was a nice exchange. A really good exchange. I, I, you know, all the UK. I, I have an edge toward Hong Ten in that battle. Oh, yes. I just do. It's like the, how seasoned he is. It shows in the movement and presentation. You can tell Kit Karam's proud. Maybe he didn't like his performance by that. By that. Kit Karam did great. Hong Ten split decision. Two votes for Kit Karam though. That's close. Yeah. And that goes into Hong Ten's head going into the next round. Yes, yes. Knowing it was a close battle in the eyes of the judges, that gives him an idea of where their heads are at. Yeah. But Kid Karam has to be proud. He did great. He played it smart. You can tell that he just stayed clean on that third round. It was a little shorter, but, you know, to two of the judges, they felt like he did enough. We got Danny Dan, a hometown hero. That's right, the next battle. We got B-Boy, Danny Dan. Look at this guy. What a showman. What a showman. You can't help but smile when you see his face walking on that stage. He's hungry. The crowd was loving him. He had such a good first battle. You know he's even more confident. But he's going against someone pretty crazy, Ronnie. Yes. Give it up for B-Boy. Mighty Jake representing Venezuela. This b-boy has been making noise throughout the last couple of days, earning his spot at the last chance cypher. Unbelievable. He had one of the most explosive moments in the top 16 battles. This is going to be a crazy battle, a great contrast of style. And also, you can't knock. Look at Danny Dan breaking since 2003 compared to Mighty Jake since 2011. Danny Dan has some years under his belt in this dance. Which means that he has the experience. But you're battling someone that's new to the scene that no one's seen before, so... Sometimes you have that advantage when no one has seen your moves. You can hear the crowd going wild here at the Roland Garris for Danny Dan. Watch him. Looking really light. Super light. Nice little backspin baby variation. He's always listening too. He's, he's gonna point out that Mighty Jake spends some time on his hands. Let's see if Mighty Jake has more in the arsenal. Again, what we were talking about earlier, you don't want to hold back. Sometimes you try to save your moves. Woo! Straight to business. Oh, oh my goodness, going up. That was at least 390s. Let's go! He was clowning Danny Dan there. That's a move that Danny Dan does. A part of this dance is mocking your opponent. Yes, that might have that might that might have been a strategic move on Mighty Jake's side. Because because he did that move, let's see if Danny Dan's actually gonna do it back at him. Oh. Nice little technical top rock step there from Danny Dan. Some nice details there. Chair freeze, rocking the beat a little bit. Don't want to leave questions open for the judges. All right, round two, Mighty Jake. Showing more full work on that round. Oh my gosh! Full spin on that one, that is not easy. Such a high level of difficulty. Wow. And still executing. In the top eight battle, Mighty Jake is catching people. But surprise, he's just on it. Ah, he's <laughs> we all know what he said there. <laughs> Look at France giving him this energy in the third round. 
This is when it counts. Woohoo! Still looking light. Nice. Sharp. Always listening. Yes. Showing more forward text. Let's go. But was it enough? Let's see. Uh, Mighty Jake with explosiveness. Mighty Jake really making a name for himself this weekend. Yes, this, this past few days. If you don't know, there. now you know. A little toe touch there. I don't know if it was intentional. Oh. Wow. Oh! Looking a little maybe tired here. Wow. It's hard to keep that stuff up. But the level of difficulty, though. So that's, high. That's the thing. It's, it's so high. It's like, do you want to stay safe and keep it simple, or do you want to take risk? You got to do and a little I balance don't even above. See him really messing up. That's right. You know, he slowed down, but he didn't really mess up. He didn't mess up. But you can see that because it's so difficult and how much power he has and how much whip he has, you can kind of see the, the contrast. Oh, man. But yeah. But yeah, super close. Extraordinary. I don't think strength. I can make a call on this one. I think Danny Dan was more of the full package when you look at breaking as a, a dance and as a whole. Yeah. But well, let's see. And Danny Dan goes through. Split decision. Very I think close it's a battle. Close battle. In incredible moments for Mighty Jake, but I think the full package and what this dance is about, Danny yes. Dan representing. I'll agree there. Danny Dan and Hong Tan, they're gonna have to work for it in the wow. semifinals. Both split decisions. They can't be holding back. Wow. Ronnie, let's like, let's take a look at this bracket. Here we go. We have Castrito and Phil Wizard, Khalil and Eason. No, we have Phil Wizard and Eason, Hong Tan, oh, and Danny Dan. I'm so Dan. sorry. Phil Wizard, Eason, Hong Tan, and Danny Dan. I'm this so excited, I can't read. This yes. semi-finals right now is going to be insane. Wow. Some of our predictions are coming true, Ronnie. Yeah. I think all of them came true. Did we bet on this? No, we don't bet. Just kidding. All right. We are going straight to the semi-finals. It's already time. We are one step closer okay, to crowning the champ. Wow, the semifinals for the B Girls 671 versus Nika. This is going to be insane. There she is, looking confident. 671. Stepping into the semifinal. This is as far as she got last year, if I'm correct, Ronnie. You are correct. So here she is. She's been to the semifinals before. You know she wants to win this time. Okay. And give it up for her pony. And she's looked Pina. on point all night. This battle right here could be a finals. And here's B girl Nika. B girl. B girl Nika. Nika's also just been winning everything lately, and semifinals is no stranger to her. She's really looking comfortable up there. Shows the essence of what breaking is. Shows the, the foundation, the fundamentals. Absolutely. Staying clean. And form. You cannot forget form. It's so important in this dance to honor the traditional breaking form. It's where this dance comes from. We take the foundation, we make it our own. And then we put it on this stage for the world to enjoy. These are two hungry dancers. They both want their spot in the final. I don't think either of them want to start this. This is going to be a good battle. Yeah, look at Nika, already feeling the music. Nika can dance. Yeah. Don't <laughs> underestimate Nika on top. Let's go, Nika. 
Just enjoying herself. Having fun is so important. 1990 to swipe. 90 swipe, 671 sneaking. Reverse. Everyone's been calling each other out on repeating. I know. It's a, it's a legitimate tactic, Ronnie. Whew. Look at that detail. Oh. Threading backspin, holding the oh low time halo. Gosh. Wow. The details in that transition. And her ability to hold onto that foot the whole time, not letting go. She's really articulating every small movement, the details. So clean. Okay, six, seven, one. What you got? This is going to be a good one, Ronnie. Six, seven, one. Also taking her time up top. Nika looking at maybe a little more natural up top. But look at that, Ronnie. Look at that. Windmill up, no hands. Running it out. That was insane. Showing her level changes. She's attacking also. Very strong power. And consistent to not fall out of that movement. Okay, wow. a strong, a strong first round Solid for both first dancers. Round, yes. Here's Nika. Nika definitely showing her up top, just being more funky in her tops. Love it. Taking her time. She's just got that raw form. UFOs down to turtles. Ground power. Classic power. Some footwork techs. Woo! Little toe tap there coming down. Oh! But she recovers. Strong second round for Nika. Maybe a tiny hiccup, but not too noticeable. All right, let's see if six, seven, one can respond. Look at the energy still. Uh-oh, I feel something dangerous coming, Ronnie. Oh. Wow. Showing some thread transitions outside of a power combo. Yes. Sticking that freeze. Still has the strength to stick her freezes. Oh, yeah. Give it and there you have girl. it. The first semifinal. The first semifinal. The winner of this oh, battle right. is in the finals. Is in the finals. And could be that was the champion. So crazy. That was. I love the intensity between these so Let's yes. see some moments. Here's Nika. Watch the thread, the detail, holding the leg the whole time as she comes around. She's going to thread it out of this chair. Six, seven, one. Oh, she rides wow. this out. She rides that head spin. That was no-handed. Windmill up, no hands. Incredibly difficult. And Nika with some classic old school ground power UFO to turtles. You got to love it. I would say 671 was definitely showing a lot more power, executing her freezes. Potentially more explosive, but Nika, more funky, showing more of the fundamentals. Yeah, I'd say Nika outdanced her a bit, and also just kind of more package of the essence, but this is a battle. Yeah, it's, ultimately it's up to the judges and their preference of style. Who's it gonna be? I don't know, Ronnie. I don't know, Ronnie. Come on! I don't know. Six, six, seven, six, seven, one. one. I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not shocked at the result, but I wanted Nika to go through to the final yes. so bad, personally. Hey, shout out to me, yo, Nika. This but is her do first not play. time. Do not play with six, seven, one. She could win this whole yes, thing. She knows what it takes. She was just here last year. Man, six, seven, one. Six, seven, one. Is looking so on point. Let's go. She delivered. She delivered. Oh, no. This is just the beginning and for Bigger Nika. 
And this battle right here, Ronnie, oh. India versus Ami, are you kidding me? Two champions. Are you kidding me? Two world champions. Two yeah. champions, two all-rounders that can do anything. Both have experience, both confident. India's been looking so confident all night. I think she's gonna be hard to beat, but if anyone could do it, it would be Ami. But I just got a feeling. What's your feeling, David? What are you feeling? I have a feeling. Follow your intuition. I have a feeling, Ronnie. For some reason, I just feel like India is not trying to lose tonight. I have a feeling Ami's not trying to lose tonight. <laughs> <laughs> No, Ami's like, I'm so good, I don't even care about it. I this. would say this, in this battle, it's going to come down to execution and who will maintain the momentum between the two rounds. Look at India. Oh, she blinked, she blinked. Okay, so they both want to win. After this, they both want to win. But India is not... Oh, my gosh. Oh, this stare down. Look at the body language. <laughs> Look at the body language. This All is right. serious. I love it. You can feel the tension in the room. They I had a feeling this was going to happen. No one wants to start. They both want two titles. Strategy. Oh, no. This is a chess game. Oh, no. It's also going to come down to material, you know? India. Let's go. India's starting. What did I tell you, Ronnie? Let's go. Ah, ah. Let's go. Looking really confident. Straight into her power. Woo! And just precise, right? Every movement she's doing is intentional, it looks like. Let's go. Showing enough material. Checking all the boxes. Looking free. Strong round. Let's see if Ami can match that energy. Look at Ami. Ami's nasty. Also, just such a, a queen of form. Just has that classic Ooh. breaking style. Showing her composure. Taking her time. in her go-down. Straight up yes. to 90, no problem. She also has such an ease to her movement. Very clean form. Super clean. A lot more footwork. Showing her footwork text. Ami has a very defined style. Yeah, I mean, you can really see the difference in their form. And form's a big deal in this dance, and it comes with experience. Round two, B-Girl India. Definitely showing a lot more character and personality. Yeah, looking a little more open. She's so strong. So strong. You will not see her fall. Wow, straight to punch from the top. And these are long rounds, Ronnie. Let's go. Another strong round. She's not playing. Look at her coming out. Ami's fresh. Yes. Definitely taking a different approach. Woo! Oh, maybe a little slip up there, but it looks I sick. don't know. I maybe think she not. did that on purpose. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> Ami's got extremely nice footwork. Yes. If you are a traditionalist, you would definitely appreciate Ami's style. Showing you she's got some spin moves, too. Yep. Oh. Clean execution. Facing the wrong way, you want to face
face your opponents when you freeze, but a very strong oh ending to a second round for Ami. Oh my God, that was the final round. Let's check out Bro. this slow-mo to see a little more of if what like just that, went down. India from the Netherlands. India sticking her freezes, clean hollow back. To final, to and look at Ami. The technique. I like Pretty much to be perfect. Here on stage chilling while they are. Who's it gonna be? All right, judges. Ronnie. Are you ready? Let's I'm not even gonna it. say Three, anything. Two, the one. judges, who do we got? Ami takes Ami it. Takes it. This is what I'll say, Ronnie. India. Still has so much of a career ahead of her. The way her style is going to evolve, you can kind of see the difference between a refined style and her and Ami. Both yes. incredible, but Ami just a bit more refined. Yeah. And she really takes her time. I think she's just building up the momentum. Absolutely, but India should be so wow. proud. Let's see this bracket, Ronnie. Here you have it, the finals. We got 6-7-1 from China. Battling and Ami. Japan versus China. Wow. Will be the finals. And that'll be three rounds, Ronnie. This will be three rounds. Asia is on the come up right now. Wow. Okay, now we're That's gonna be a good battle. I can't even think about that one right now. Oh! This battle right here though. Who's this? Phil Wizard versus Eason. This will be a good contrast of styles. Absolutely. Contrast of styles also. Phil Wizard a bit more experienced. This is his fourth world final, as we've said. Eason, this is his second world final. But I'll say something, Ronnie. Eason is looking spry. He is looking fresh. Phil Wizard is looking on point. Yes, both these breakers. Phil Wizard, as you were saying, this is his fourth appearance at the Red Bull BC1 World Final. I'm sure he knows what he's doing coming into the semifinals. And he's, and he's relaxed. I heard Phil in an interview say he doesn't necessarily train specifically for battles. He just stays ready. And that's kind of your job at this caliber. Yeah. You're always ready. You stay ready so you don't got to get ready. Easy. Statistically, Phil Wizard has been winning a lot of one-on-one -on -one competitions throughout this year. And this is the deep water, Ronnie. This is yes. when... It gets even harder to not repeat. You have to have the arsenal. You have to have the vocabulary. And you have to have the stamina. Staying warm backstage isn't easy. And maintaining that level of endurance and All stamina. Night. I'm telling you. This is what separates the good from the great. The ability to still perform at a high level this late in the night. I commend all the breakers for making it this far. And I've heard a lot of the, the dancers talk about how cold it is in this venue. That affects your muscles. When it's cold, it's it's harder to stay warm. Yeah, you gotta you feel stay stiff. Warm. You gotta stay moving. That's how you see Hong Ten running running up that stage every round. And I have a feeling no one's gonna want to start this one either. This is a three-round battle. Our first semi-final battle in the B-Boy bracket. Who's gonna start it? And these guys are friends, aren't they, Ronnie? Yes, both representing the Red Bull BC1 All-Stars. Off the floor, they're buddies. But right now, they both want the same thing, and that's that belt. Let's go. Eason starting it off. We got Japan in the house. Oh. Coming out strong. Look, Phil is giving him props. Woo. Oh, he's so good. Damn. Incredible oh, speed. Hand. That was a one hand. Unreal. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he's laughing. He's laughing because he's killing it. Oh, he wants it. He wants it. That could have been the best round of the night. and calling him out on his moves. We got a battle, Ronnie. Clean thread. Woo! Oh, it's going to be hard to respond to Eason's first round. So strong. Woo! But Phil 
Coming through. Coming through. Original style, original transitions. Signature moves. That's right, and that counts for a lot. Yes. The wow. full package. Wow, what a first round. But Eason is so powerful. That first round was so aggressive. They're just Definitely laughing. Definitely a hard round to beat. They're laughing because they know they've created a moment. Oh, this is such a hype battle. All right, round two. Here he goes. Woo. Let's go, listening to the music. Oh! On the Always beat drop. Hitting on the beat drop. Is on beat. That's, a, that's a perfect. An incredible second round from Eason. Phil. The wizard still responding. Yeah, he's looking very on point. Both breakers taking their time in the second round. They are head really. To head. They're toe listening to, toe. to the music, staying in the pockets. Woo. Some really cool pictures from Phil Wizard. All right, Eason's finally breathing hard, Ronnie. Finally, this is it right here. Last round, the make this or break is it. round. This Let's is go. what it counts. This feels like a final. This does feel like a final. Let's see if he still got it. As we talked about, execution is crucial. Eason has been executing all night, sticking all his freezes, maintaining his speed. And showing us different stuff. Yes, his variety. level changes, variety of power transitions. Oh my goodness. Oh, falling out of the move right there. Slight little mistake there. Oh, he's starting to slow down. Oh, but let's see if he's gonna pick it back up. I mean, to be honest, Ronnie, he still looks fast, but maybe slightly lost in that third round. Yes. He might have given Phil Wizard that opening. Look at Phil getting, getting kind of magical with it. Yes, with that unique style, his presentation. This third his round threads. counts for so much. Still doing different things. What did he just do there? <laughs> <How> nasty. <laughs> Wow. This is crazy. I'm wow. so impressed by these breakers. I'm on my feet, Ronnie. Yes. I'm on Stand my feet. Innovation. The crowd is going crazy. That may have been the battle of the night wow. so far. Oh my gosh. Roland Garris is going crazy. Look at the slow mos. Look at Eason. This is crazy. Eason. That was insane. Wow. It's Look crazy this. watching Eason move slow, <laughs> considering how fast he moves. And here's Phil. Phil. Look at the shape. With his unique style. Was that, was that the battle of the night so far, Ronnie? It, it definitely was. Yeah. I don't even know. The contrast style, too. I don't know, man. I, 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 I think uh, Phil. Phil has an edge. Phil has an edge. Phil Wizard takes it. Phil Wizard. Is our first finalist. Wow! But what an amazing semifinals. Eason. Shout out to Eason. He's on his way. He's on his He's way. He's on his way. Ceases yes. to imp not impress. And Phil Wizard, so well deserved, showing well deserved. such yes. an arsenal of different movement. And to elaborate and what execution. we talked about earlier, this is why originality plays such a big part in winning a competition at this caliber. That's right. And you know, the people that say everything's already been done, a piano has a certain amount of keys, a guitar has a certain amount of strings, but it's how you play them, and that's what makes it special. But next up, we have a battle that could be as good as the last, Hong Ten and Danny Dan. This is gonna be a great battle. Two breakers who've been breaking for a very long time. I think Hong Ten just changed his outfit. Did Hong Ten, Hong Ten coming out running every time. You have to be that confident to, you know, do a, a wardrobe change in between battles. I mean, it works though. <laughs> Feeling fresh has a lot to do yes. with confidence in this dance. If you feel fresh, you look fresh. And here comes Danny Dan. He's Danny like, Dan, the hometown hero. I'm not gonna run. Ronnie, how does it feel to walk out from that backstage? 
It's a, it's a it's a long journey from the backstage to the main stage, so it's very gladiator-esque. <laughs> and I tell you this, this is the whole feel of this competition. We are at a Breakers Gladiators Arena. And when you're on that stage, you can feel the energy from the crowd. You can feel the lights. You can feel the pressure. And you have to just forget it all. Man, we are making Listen. history tonight. Let's go. This is the second semifinal. One of these dancers will battle Phil Wizard in the finals for the belt. For the belt. You have Phil Wizard who has already been in the finals, and you have Hong Ten, who's going for his third belt. And you have Danny Dan, second time representing in the world final, the hometown hero representing France, has a whole nation on his side. He's got the crowd on his side, and they've both been looking very good the entire night. Danny right. Dan is such a performer. Hong Ten. Seasoned. He's more. He's more seasoned than a steak. <laughs> I don't know. Steaks aren't even that seasoned. All right, we got Danny Dan. I don't even know. Starting it off. Let's go. That's respect right there. That's respect. Danny Dan started off. Let's go. details and I just love how he's always in the music always listening to the music that's very crucial showing your musicality judges are always look, looking at musicality footwork on beat spins is on beat always in this pocket this bounce the whole time till the end I love it and here's Hong Hong's been to a couple semifinals huh Ronnie Yes, we, we battled a few times in the World Finals. <laughs> no stranger. All right, Hog 10, round one. Very sharp and clean. Oh, some Matrix action. <laughs> Classic Hog. Still creating and still innovating. It's amazing. When we talk about having an arsenal wow. of moves, this is Hong Ten. Hong's got move for, moves for days. Yes. And he's executing them all tonight. Woo! <laughs> E.T. <laughs> going home. That was a nice little story Hong just told. Let's, Let's go, go, Danny Dan. France is going crazy. They are on their feet. They are on their feet for Danny Dan. Look at Woo! Still looking so strong. Yes. Ten shaking his finger, no. There, it's good he's still going. Yes, Danny Dan definitely showing more full work. Variations and just so on beat. up top, dancing the whole Has time. Has a good bounce in his top. Danny Dan saying, "I want to see you dance, bro." All right, Hong Ten also got the crowd. He's got the crowd too. He ain't phased at all. I look. think the crowd is just loving the semifinal so far. <laughs> yes. Let's go, Hong. I'm loving it, man. Let's go. Hong Ten not losing any steam. Here he goes. More, more finger <laughs> signatures. <laughs> I, I think he's used every finger so far. <laughs> he's on some, he's on some Shaolin monk vibes. He really takes his time. He knows. Oh my gosh. Wow, Look at crazy transition. Still showing variety. Still showing execution. This third round. All right. It all comes down to this, Ronnie. Let's see if Danny Dan 
Has enough gas in his tank. Holy Ooh. moly, he's still, still looking strong. Still executing. Danny Dan showing a little bit of everything. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's go. I love that. <laughs> Ronnie, that heel oh, click. That was good. But Ronnie. that frees the end, though. Ronnie, that heel click for me. <laughs> that's as cool as a. It was cool. Simple sounds. <laughs> Let's go. Bahong 10, his level of difficulty. And this is the world stage, Ronnie. The judges are looking for difficulty. Yes. They're looking for difficulty and commitment and execution. Yes, creativity, originality, execution. Look at Hong. Oh! Hong's playing now. This third round wow. is so important. Okay, wow, Ronnie. That was a good battle. We got to stand up for that one. We're on our feet. Another standing We're ovation. Feet. We're on our feet. What a performance by wow. both of these dancers, Hong Ten and Danny Dan. This Those are two semifinals we will not forget right, let's get for into a the long time. <laughs> Danny Dan with the freezes, showing all elements and categories of breaking. You got wow, that is Hong so Ten with his signature. Still able to Hong Ten threading kill his, his moves head. after oh my gosh. almost three decades ah. of breaking. That's amazing. Okay, Ronnie. I have an edge. Ah, I don't know. You want to no, I French? would give it to Hong Ten. I have an edge for Hong Ten too. Yes. But based on his originality and his execution, variety, but also, yes, you're right. The moments that Danny Dan created. You can see Danny Dan's face. Who's going to make it, it to the final know. against Phil Wizard? I don't think they both don't know. The judges. Let's see. such a special night, David. I feel like we just watched two finals. I think we already won. It literally feels like we it's watched two home. finals. <laughs> Danny Dan should be so proud of his performance. Yes. He made hey, his mark. Big ups to Danny Dan. Real talk. But guess what, Ronnie? Did we call it? Yeah. Yeah, we, we called the finals. Yeah, we called the finals. All right, the finals. We got Phil Wizard and Hong Tan, both. Red Bull BC1 All-Stars, both seven commandos, both a crew that I also represent. <laughs> wow, they battled there before. You have it. They, they did an exhibition yes. where they went un unlimited rounds. I believe they went close to 20 rounds. <laughs> oh my god. Back to back. They should make them go 20 rounds tonight. in the world of b-boying. When you get into the battle, it doesn't matter. If you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. That's what it's about, making the impossible possible. No more waiting. No more debating.
How is that, Ronnie? I feel, I feel a hint through this performance. I feel like they're trying to tell us something. What are they trying to tell us, David? I don't know, but I think it has something to do with Caparinas. Is this an official announcement? Uh, Ronnie, don't spoil the surprise. But next year, the world final will be in Brazil. Coming back to Brazil for 2024. Woo! How do we feel? And we're going back. Oh, we that, are going back. That's going to be fun. David. Both David and I were there in 2012. Yes, the last BC one I was in, in was in 2012. And right. I tell you this, it was one of my favorite years. So much fun. See you at the Copacabana. Get ready. Get the Caparinas cold. The culture oh in Brazil. Give me an acai. All right. We gonna get into this final. Or should I say Bora Bora? Oh All right. Brazil. Brazil. BC1 2024 in Brazil. And now we got the finals. It's time for the B Girl finals of the world finals. Red Bull BC1, 671, Ami, China, Japan. Oh. It all comes down to this. Will Ami take a second belt home? Or will 671 take her first belt? Shh, could go either way, Ronnie. It's all boiled down to this moment right here. From the top 16, we are down to the finalists. time tonight looking composed and confident as she has throughout the entire night she wants to win she has what it takes to win but can she deliver these last three rounds this is the okay. deep water now. where it all Earth matters the arsenal it to the, stage. the vocabulary We've got B-Girl Ami from Japan. Representing Good Foot Crew, returning champion, going for her second belt. Takes a different approach. She just stays consistent. Really so good. displays the essence of what true breaking is all about. And you cannot deny the confidence. <laughs> Look at the little grins. They just want to smile, you can tell. They're like, oh, we got to play tough. Give them all your energy. This is the final of the B-Girl Battles. Let's go. It's all happening now. This yes. is the finals for the B-Girl. Someone's going home with the belt and will be the world champion. Ronnie. Three rounds. Who's it going to be? This one's going to be three rounds. It'll be the first battle for the girls that oh, no, is three so rounds, really testing the endurance. Really testing the arsenal. Right. Oh, hey, they got this all cleared. Rounds. And they're starting with the Mexican. Let's go. A classic song for our community. I love it. Let's go. Who's going to start this battle? Man, I'd go straight away. You got both b heroes pacing back and forth. I'd go straight away. Who's going to go? Uh, uh. This is the finals. Wherever you are in the world, get out your seat. Get your beverage. Turn up the TV. Turn the commentary off if you don't like my voice. But it's time. Tommy starting it off. It's Tommy time. Let's go. Ami always looking so composed when she goes out throughout this whole competition. She's been taking her time, staying consistent. Checking all the boxes, utilizing that whole stage. And she knows what it takes to win, Ronnie. Let's go. Woo! Here we go, straight to business. Staying sharp. 
Uh, 671 shaking her head. But Ami is not slowing down. Woo! Such good footwork. You can just tell she's really pacing herself in this first round. And like you said, a bit of everything. Starting off yes. with that power combo, showing you the footwork, using the stage on beat. She literally did everything. So hard to beat a dancer like Ami. 671 coming in with a killer instinct. She's trying to get the crowd involved. Not a bad idea. Let's see if she has an answer. Six and one, definitely with more power moves. I don't know. Ami started with a nice little combo herself. She did, and. Actually, it seems like 671 is trying to play her game, trying to do more forward. Woo. Okay, she's listening. Definitely executes all her freezes. Been staying consistent throughout the whole competition as well. Woo. Okay, there it is. The first round in the bank. Look at Avi, not even looking phased at all. Avi's like, <laughs> that's how you know she is experienced. Look at the arms, look at the arms, look at the arms. Ah. Ami's just like, classic. Ami going for her second belt. Does she have what it takes? See this pocket she stays in. Look, always starting yes. off with a little combo, a little double windmill there. Yes, showing her clean power. And just no mistakes. Yes, her vocabulary. She really has everything it takes to win a competition at this caliber. It's the details. She might not be blowing it up, but she's just throwing them jabs. She's just throwing them jabs. She has a boxer's pace, slow and steady, but just consistent and impeccable form. Slow and steady wins the race. That's right. I've heard that saying before. Six, seven, one. Round two. Round two for 671. The fact that these dancers have this energy at this point in the night stands for something alone. <laughs> Going up to a one and a half. Now she's showing her power. These are high level difficulty movements. You also don't want to rush your moves. As dynamic as she is, there's more room for error when you start rushing, because that's when you start exposing how tired and your endurance starts to drop. But at this point, both B-girls are still executing. And this is it, Ronnie. This is the last round of the night. Man, you got to respect Ami's confidence. None of that is phasing her. And she just looks so experienced and seasoned. Maintaining her momentum. And she knows this is it. She's been to the finals before. Yes. Look at that. Wow. Executing. Still. Clean form, the details in each transition that she's hitting. Ground power. Maybe a little something, something right there. She didn't want to do, but that's the first time I saw her do anything that looked reluctant. All right. But very Was small. that last round enough? Six, seven, one, still coming with the energy on this last round. Let's not see looking it. intimidated at all. And just like not tired at all. You can just tell she wants it. You can see the hunger. You can see it in the conviction of their moves. saving it for that last round. A little slip right there. Ami shaking her head because she knows you got to stay clean. What a strong round. Ender, strong ender. What a round. Ronnie? Yes, it's, it was close. It was close. But I would say that, yes, that last round, 6-7-1, definitely delivered. And again, you have the advantage when you start second.
some love. Let's give some more Look love. Look at Ami, swipe, elbow track. This was her first round, just starting straight away. They Here's 671. One of these. So Super strong the in the final battle of the night. Yes. Quick final little win. double windmill, kind of a little okay. leg tap right there for Ami, yes. you can see. But Ami's just so clean, it's, she has her moves, it's just easy to read. Very legible. You want to, this is so okay. cool in the slow-mo, you can really see the details of the feet scratching. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you get exposed too. This is you can tell, you can see if someone's being, you know, sloppy. We're about to find out right now. Oh, we're about to announce. Is, the is, winner right now. Okay. Yes, we're about Who to find out the B Girl Champion. Will be for 2023. 2023 Red Bull BC1 World Champion. We're gonna find out in a few seconds, y'all. Will Ami take the belt for the second time? Right. Or will 671 be our first time B Girl World Champion 2023? Ronnie, do you wanna know what Who's I think? Who's it gonna be? No, I'm not even gonna say what I think. Oh, okay. One Ami, vote one for vote. Ami. Movie one votes for Ami. Okay. All right, stay standing. All right. Let's see, let's see. Three, two, one. Ha-ha. Six, seven, six, one. Seven, one. We got one each. One, one. How hard are their hearts beating, Ronnie? Six, seven, one. Baby huh. done. This is so okay. nerve-wracking. It's Three, the worst, two, but the best. One. The anticipation. Ami! Ami, that's two for Ami. Two. Ami needs one, one more vote. Okay. If she oh, wins, David, you understand that this is going to be her second belt. That's right. That's right. Look at her, not even breaking composure. Is she praying? What is she thinking about right now, Ronnie? Is it going to be Ami? Ami takes it! Ami going all the way. Takes on the belt for the second time. The world champion. Wow. Taking home. Congratulations, Ali. This is what a performance. All I can say, Ronnie, is that's what breaking okay. looks like. Make what you see Ami here. doing, that's what this is supposed to look like. You guys, And what a performance yes. tonight. She stuck to her guns. What a performance tonight. She did not break. Incredible. She stayed consistent the whole World. night. World. It's just hard. It's hard to beat someone that consistent that refined and guess what 671 has a long way to go i mean sorry has a long career ahead of her and i don't doubt that she will get her own world title world title soon she will get her spotlight but right now let's give it up for ami unreal japan representing she should be so proud good foot crew should feel very proud who is this belt for who do you tonight who are you dedicating it to i think for my family at the most also my friend and the person who practiced with me i've been like such a hard time those days but because of like them i could make this happen so i really appreciate them absolutely thank you so much congratulations wow. there she is the world champion for the second time Making history as the second B girl to win two belts. Two belts, yes. All right. In the history books. What a pleasure to watch Ami. What a pleasure to watch 671 and all the B girls that represented tonight. They okay. should all be so proud. Amazing, amazing performance. I know who's but guess what, Ronnie? You know what time it is? It's time for the finals for the B-Boys. So Phil Wizard and Hong Kong 10. Ten. Yeah. Oh, someone give me, someone give me a beverage. <laughs> someone give me a beverage. Someone give me a Red Bull. Hold up, I'm gonna chug this thing real quick. Are we standing up for this one, Ronnie? We are, yes, we are. I'm, I'm kind of... Uh, it saving all, my energy for this final battle. It all comes down to this. You cannot deny Phil Wizard's performance tonight. He's been on point the entire night. That last battle with Eason, he showed the arsenal. He showed his ability to present all his creative expression. A true 
Warrior. He's ready. He's definitely ready. But I don't know about this other guy he's battling. Who's this other guy? Look at him, looking relaxed. This would be a huge night for Phil. This is a night that we kind of foresaw, right? We predicted it would be Phil Wizard and Hong Ten. Hong Ten running on stage again <laughs> with his fourth wardrobe change. It's just a jacket. Oh no, it's a full wardrobe change. It's a change. full wardrobe change, I'm telling you. Remember, when you feel fresh, you are fresh. Eighth time representing on this world stage, going for his third belt. And Phil's fourth time on the world stage. And they're friends. Both representing the Red BC1 All-Stars and Seven Commandos. I love that they're friends, but I also hate that they're friends. They're not friends in this moment. You know what's cool? You can have a good chemistry battling together, but there can also be a good chemistry battling against each other. Absolutely. It's an so, exchange of this sorts. This is a good exchange. They've battled each other before, so let's see how this one goes. Holy moly, this is it, the finals. Let's go, Kid David! Roland Garris is on their feet. 8,000 spectators. This isn't a tennis match, Ronnie. This is the world finals. Who wants it? We got DJ one up in the ones and twos. Who's gonna start it? Hey, Phil no. Wizard showing respect. That's respect. Phil Wizard just looking loose. Like he's just happy to be there in the finals. And this will be a three round final. Woo -hoo. Still looking light. Hey! In the pocket. In the pocket of the music. Clean transitions. Okay. Maybe a slight repetition of picture there. Woo. Still got details, still got the strength. Still executing his freezes at the end. Hong Ten, round one. If Hong Ten can clench this final, he'll get the third belt he's been dreaming of. Classic Hog 10! Still executing all Look his freezes. Looking strong, looking fast. Unbelievable. Looking confident. Woo. Oh, straight to the Last shoulder. Six. A super strong round from Hong 10. Phil Wizard attacking. And Phil with the answer. Holding that freeze. I'm gonna give Hong an edge in that first round. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, this is the, the track music. right here. Someone's listening. Someone's listening. Okay, Hog. Hog 10, what you got? Ronnie, neither of them look a bit tired. No, no. I, I say they could go more than three rounds. Oh. Hog 10 has so many variations. Yes, just their level of execution. Hong Tan staying sharp. <laughs> his ability to keep going and showing different variations, all his signatures he's hitting. Wow. Wow, Ronnie. Round three. I the don't know, Ronnie. Wow. Here's Phil Wizard, the third round. This is the deep water. The make or break round. Does he have what it takes? The last round of the night. All right, is he slowing down? A little bit, Ronnie. Maybe looking a little messy there. If Hong Ten can deliver on this round, I believe the belt is his. Those first two rounds, I got a little edge for Hong Ten. Let's see it. Yes. 
Oh my gosh. Ronnie? Yes. All 10 is just staying consistent this whole night. There's nothing else I could say but... Consistent pace. Consistency is key. And executing. He's been executing, showing his originality, still showing that he's creating new moves. Was there you have it. The finals. The final battle. I think at the end of the day, we're all winners here, Kid David. Everybody's a winner. Everyone wants Although, tonight. The culture wants tonight. It's it's cliche to say there's still only one world champion, Ronnie. The crowd, make some noise for that side. And Wizard. who's it gonna be? Is it gonna be Phil Wizard? Or is it gonna be Hong Ten? The slow-mos. Are, show, are so telling. You can see the details. Yes, wow, Phil Wizard really stuck that freeze. Tonight, we're gonna crown. So if Han gets this, it'll be his third boys. belt. He'll be the second person ever to have three belts. Who is gonna be? It'll be Phil's first belt. The judges knows. But the I knows. have a feeling history's about to be made, Ronnie. Yes, and it's undeniable that both these B-boys deserve to make it to the finals. Damn. which is amazing to see. But it's the elements we've talked about. It's consistency, it's execution. It's the, the, the way you can sustain your energy all the way through, showing a variety of movement, listening to the music, and most of all, being yourself on that stage, with which both of these dancers yes, did. they both have a very unique individuality. Wait, wait, wait. I tell you this, David, I, I've been to every single Red Bull BC1 in the past 20 years. Have you? This event by far has been my favorite. Well, that says a lot, Ronnie. Can I get a hookup? You can go to every event. Here it is, the first vote. Hard Oh my gosh. Someone give me the air horn. You got the first vote. Who got the air horn? Air, 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 I need a. I have a feeling, Ronnie. Okay. All right, movie one, who you movie got? One. I have Are a feeling. Public, and ça fait trois. Oh my gosh. <laughs> two oh, more votes. Oh, two votes. He just needs one more vote. He just needs one more vote. One more vote. Wow. Wow. One more this vote. is crazy. Oh, 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 ten, going for that third oh, bell. Who's it gonna be? It's, I, I have a feeling, Ronnie. Of course. I have a feeling. Flea Rock, Flea Rock with the call. Are you ready? Count. Wait, 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 wait. Five. <laughs> no pressure, Flea. Five, four, four three. Wow, well deserved. Look at everyone, look at Lilu, look at everyone congratulating Hong. I can safely say it myself, I feel so proud. I am so proud of Hong Ten. He works so hard, there's no one like him. There's He's no one. He's built differently, I'm telling you. At He's his level, human. with his time in the game, still contributing, still winning at the highest level. At the, the highest oldest level. competitor in the competition. What does that say? Age is nothing but a number. Hong Ten is setting the bar for what competitive breaking looks like as far as how far someone can go with this. This is amazing. Unreal. 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 Shout Unreal. out to be with Hong Ten. What a legend. Making history tonight. You know what's also amazing is he won at the 10 year anniversary and now he's winning at the 20 year anniversary. 10 years from now, he could win at the 30 year anniversary. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, I won't be surprised. He's setting the bar for what it could look like to be a competitive breaker, how long you can stay in the game. Let's see what he has to say. Very inspiring. Very, very inspiring. What, what does it mean to win again after 20 years of success? Still here. What you... Oh, it's just an honor. Just, I'm just very honorable with the, almost the best 16 B-boys and B-girls. I'm just happy to be just on the stage and this, I can't express. How, how did you practice special practice for this one? No, not at all. Just it's simple. <laughs> He's always ready. This is your champion. He said, oh, it's simple. <laughs> oh, oh, it's simple, right? Oh, it's simple.
simple, right? Must be nice, Hong Ten. Simple. Oh, wow. What a legend. You can't argue that he is. Everyone is so happy. Look at Tai Ske the sharing the love. Hong Ten, the best in the world. Hong Ten is the best B-boy in the world. He's the best B-boy in the world. Unreal. Shout outs to. What a night, Ronnie. History has been made in Roland Garris. Ami, the B-Girl World Champion. Getting her second belt and B-Boy Hong Ten getting his third belt, both making history. It's been an honor to be here with you all. An amazing night here in Paris, France for the 20 year, the 20th edition of the Red Bull BC One World Final. Looking forward to seeing everyone next year. It's been a blast. Remember, it's about peace, it's about love, and unity. it's about unity. And having fun. <laughs> and we had fun with y'all. See y'all next year in Brazil. See ya, we love ya. Rio, we're coming. B-Boy Ronnie checking out.